Let's go right to the phones. What do you have in his hand? A Chinese menu. That's what I thought. I just want to make sure that that hadn't changed. You know, we were talking about Jeffrey Mann. Lee Ho Hep's. Yeah. We were talking about Jeffrey Mann, so I wanted to make sure it was a menu he had in his hand. It said, wasn't the calf. <laughs> Mark. Yeah, Mike, how's it going? Good, buddy. Good, good. Hey, I'm a new time listener. I heard Kimmer about a few weeks ago and turned me on to the to the station and I started listening to all of y'all. Y'all have had me laughing so hard I've had to almost pull my truck over a few times. <laughs> good. But, uh, I really appreciate the job y'all are doing standing up for the conservatives and getting all the information out there that otherwise we might not get. Yep. But I realized something when I found out that y'all have only got 89 days and a quarter. Right. And you're almost finished. <laughs> but I figured, I said, you know, if the FBI does an investigation on why they sold the station to get y'all off the air, they're going to say it's Trump's fault. You know that. Right? <laughs> no. Nah. Yeah, I know. There's all kinds of... Mark, thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. There's all kinds of conspiracy theories about, you know, oh, they're trying to get rid of conservative radio. It It's a business decision. It was a boat load of money. They backed the Brinks truck up to uh, to Cumulus headquarters. And it, 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 we're going to a, a Christian broadcasting company, not Al right. Jazeera or Air America. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, Matty, what's going on? Well, I'm pissed off and mad about it, but, you know, cash is king. So. There you go. Yeah. I guess all good, you know what they say, all good things must come to an end, but uh, I didn't think it was going to come to an end this, this quickly. That's for sure. <laughs> but... Well, I've got a bunch of questions, but I want to listen to uh, the replay of Shannon's show before I ask a dumb question, you know? <laughs> don't, uh, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry anyway, about that. Anyway, man, it, it, and uh, Tammy, if you're listening, California is not totally full of liberals. <laughs> there's Some one. people out here. Yeah, there's Matt. Matt lives out there. He's the only one. So. Well, oh, come on. I got sucked. <laughs> that's the word, Shaddy. Come on. There you go. All right, okay. buddy. If, I tell you what, Mike, it is howling out here. It yeah. is crazy raining, and uh, the desert is like this. Yeah, you, you, you break it up a little bit. It must be coming from, uh, from the rain. Yeah, it's crazy. All uh, right, brother. See ya. Yeah, man, bad weather out there. Out in the, when, they get, when they get weather in the desert, they get some weather in the desert. That's for damn sure. Let me go. To, what do you say, Shelly, over there singing? Please, thank you. Leroy. Leroy, what's up? Uh, Bruce, what's going on, man? Well, you tell me. All right, so, uh, man, before you leave, we're going to have a tough conversation about Mike Brown. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, we're we going to have to have it before you get out of there. Okay, but all right, we, we will. Change, can, can we ha- change the uh, countdown to whether or not uh, Kasim Reed gets busted before y'all get out of there or not. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good countdown, Leroy. I like that. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Let's see uh, who's who going to make it first. Right. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm rolling around a couple of ideas on how to keep the station all air. It's going to call for a commitment from the listeners. I'm sure y'all got a, um, a good idea how many people out there listening. But, you know, we can get the, um, you know, uh, what what's the saying? You can't win if you don't play. Yeah, you can't. You, you gotta you gotta play to win. You gotta play to win. Yeah, we gonna get them to pay for it. Ah, uh, it's got it'd be a whole lot of money. That's for damn sure. A whole lot of money, Leroy. <clears throat> what they gave away two forty two last night, one forty three. Dude, they giving away money all the time. Yeah, <laughs> make everybody partners who invest and kick it from there. Well, if I if I win the lottery in the next ninety days, we'll uh, we'll, we'll we'll revisit that. <laughs> there we go. Right. Man, it's going to take care of everybody. Yep. All right, Leroy. Thank you, buddy. All right. All right, man. Uh, let's go to Andre. Yes, sir. Welcome to the program. Hey, buddy. Thank you, sir. 
you know, I've been listening to you since you came on the air. You know, I know you've probably been on, the, I think, the least amount between uh, Shelly and Shannon and Kimmer. You know, I think you've been on the the least amount of time. Well, I've but been on, yeah, I, I was, I've, I've been here, I've been substituting here for uh, two years before I got the regular gig and, uh, you know, right. regular, the regular gig. gig. Yeah, yep, yep. Right. But, I, I mean, I understand business is business, but you guys have become a fabric of the city now. You know, you guys are, 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 are woven into this. There are a lot of us who don't get the call in. I'm a local truck driver. It's, it's on the station from 6 to 6 every day, which is my working hours. And I don't. I very rarely listen to music anymore because I'm, I'm always listening to you guys. Right. I don't always. I don't always agree with everything that you guys say. Sure. But it's always. It's <laughs> always an interesting perspective from the other side, you know. And it gives you a little balance. And, you know. You, well, you know. Some people feel this way, and I'm hearing from people from all over the city that I would possibly never meet, but we all have one common thing. It was a. Uh, it was a corporate decision, and. Um... You know, that was, it, there's not much we can do to reverse it, that's for sure. So it's written in stone. This is this is the end game now. Yep, sure is. Sure is. <sighs> this, you know, this sucks the big one. It really does. I hear you, Andre. <laughs> well, we got we got 89, 89 and a quarter more days, so hang in there, brother. Appreciate you. It's like a slow Titanic, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Thank you, bud. <laughs> oh, my goodness. A lot of folks want to get to here. Kirk. Well, this sucks. I mean, I was having a really, well, Valentine's Day is irrelevant because of my ex-wife. But, <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I did buy some ammo, so that'll that'll work out. Um, not meaning to give you feet towards the ex. I'm going to go to the range. There Here's you go. Question. Good. I didn't want to ask. I didn't want to ask. You guys know, what is the worst rating station in the city? Oh, uh, God, I don't know. I'd have to go – I don't have the ratings right in front of me, but I'd have to go look them up. But that's something that we could look up. What if we just started a GoFundMe account by the crappiest station in town and put the and just slide the entire staff over? Yeah, it, uh, that, that'd be a tough one. That'd be a tough it thing to be. do, Kirk. It would be. I yeah. mean, you know, between, between the Kimmer, you know, I, I – I knew as soon as Kimmer said he bought a new car, something bad was going to happen. <laughs> uh, well, we appreciate you, Kirk, but I, I don't. I think it's a done deal. So ninety days to blow the doors out. There you, you go, guys brother. Need to get shenanigans that go down in Atlanta history. I, I, I'm I'm working on that last uh, story time. I think that'll be a good one. So <laughs> thank you, bud. Let me go. We only got a minute, so. Here, look. If I don't get you, if I don't get to all your calls today, please call back tomorrow. Scott, you got about forty-five seconds, brother. All right, I'll make it quick. I've known a uh, hangman a lot longer than you have, and he's never given me a ding dong. <laughs> he but must. Anyway, hey, this is uh... Kimbler. We love you, brother. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> love you guys too, and I'm really sorry to hear that you guys are. Uh... Going off, but hey, I tell you what, I really I can... hope that Cox and iHeart are paying attention and see this as an opportunity. At least I can put on my resume I lasted longer than you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did, buddy. All right, Scott, thank you, thank you again, brother. Out the lights, the party's over. Ranch and Steve and the others, give a call back tomorrow. We will be here. But coming up, you don't want to miss the Kimmer today or any day. But give us a call back tomorrow morning, 11.58 a.m. It's the Mike Brooks Show. Talk 106.7. Until then, stay safe, everybody. Keep on keeping on. From the KTMRoofing.com studios, WYAY Gainesville, a cumulus station, where Atlanta comes to talk. The new talk, 1067. This is Tiger Woods. <laughs> this portion of our show is brought to you by my competitive fire. Even at 43, it still burns inside me. It's either that or all the unprotected sex with Perkins waitresses. And now, here's your host, the Kimmer. I look out. Stand by. <laughs> Yes, time for the afternoon phlegm attack here at the...
van down by the river. The 255 Lookout. It's only me. It's only the Kimmer. On the new Talk 1067. I'm sorry. On the new Talk 1067. I know that's a little premature. I'm sorry. <laughs> How's it going? It's a B-52s, baby. It was on this day, 1977. The B-52s played their first concert. It was at a party in Athens, Georgia, 1977. And again, they were real sweet when my daughter Jennifer had a birthday many, many years ago. And I mentioned that uh, she's a big fan of the B-52s. And son of a gun, they sent me stuff for her birthday. I thought that was the Indigo Girl. That's right. It was the Indigo Girl. <laughs> 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 Might have been the B-52s. <laughs> okay, so the Kimmer's lost a little something off his fastball. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? <laughs> well, I have a feeling it won't be hard for me to resign. <laughs> it's really kind of on our hands now. <laughs> Look out. Ay, ay, ay. All right, how you doing? It's only me. It's only uh, the Kimmer. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can. <laughs> uh, a couple of quick birthdays, and we'll do the actual program. Remember the TV personality from 2020 with so many years, Hugh Downs. Still alive. He's 98. Wow. And uh, Pete knows this guy, TV personality Pat O'Brien, who was actually a sports guy for a long time. Really, he wasn't in New York, and then he became a TV personality with the Insider and Access Hollywood. That's where he kind of became a personality more than a sports guy. Pat O'Brien, 71. And magician Teller of Penn and Teller is 71. Is he the silent one or the fat one? Penn Teller. Gillette is the one that talks. Okay, Penn then Gillette. Teller's the silent guy. He's 71 today. All right, I got it. Here we go. So 257. I'll tell you what, we got, we got a bunch of phone calls. Here's the number, 404-741-1067, 1067 404-741-1067. Let's go away some money first, and we'll get into the actual calls here. Hey, on new hey. talk, 106.7. Hey, everyone. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Text the national keyword call right now to 95819. That's call, C-A-L-L, -L, to 95819. We'll text you back to confirm your entry. Rating a uh, message, Danny Random. Hey, but hey, Bob Hoop. Of course, don't apply with text and drive it. Hey, but hoop. Uh, hi, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. By the way, I should, uh, well, a bunch of things. I, I, I'm going to just talk for a minute here because there's some things we just need to, you know, get out. Uh, hold on. We got uh, AJ and Ratch and, uh, come on, you guys. Uh, yeah, yesterday afternoon we got the word. You've heard it by now, I'm sure. And it's been all over social media. In fact, my daughter Jennifer called me as kind of hysterical. I said, Daddy, Daddy. I said, no, 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 I'll take that. Marines bounce back. Marines, well, I'm not scared. We'll be fine. Uh, anyway, but they, uh, and it, it was, I have, hold nothing against cumulus. There's no way they would have turned down the deal. Uh, a religious company that does kind of simulcasted nationwide broadcasts of a religious tone. I guess it's re uh, Christian music and Christian it's pop pop music. Anyway, uh, and they're uh, you know they got a lot of money and they backed up the truck and uh, said here take all you want and Cumulus uh, to their credit said okay fine we'll take it. I mean you couldn't turn it down. It wasn't like it was you know market value. They flooded the joint. They they said you can't. They made them an offer they couldn't refuse. So they took it, which means we're all out of work because they're not going to bring our staff. They're going to get, get their own people. Well, it won't be any people. It'll be push a button from California. So anyway, so and that's just and that's just business. And and let me just say this: I don't have a problem with that because it's business. I didn't ask <laughs> who made the order because it's just business. <laughs> Smaller piece. <laughs> It's just business. That's fine. I, honestly, I, I mean, I, I'm I'm upset. I'm angry. I'm uh, you know freaked out and everything else. But I'm, I certainly have nothing against Cumulus for doing it because they, they had to. I mean, there's no way they they could have said no. Literally, anybody would have taken the deal. So that's not a problem. And the other thing, let me just say this right off: as much as we as ba have bashed our uh, liberal Trump hating management team, uh, they have been uh, nothing short of honorable in this uh, since yesterday and today. Uh, Pete had his meeting with him this morning, and I've got mine tomorrow. Uh, Shannon was in there today. Anyway, uh, they're acting uh, quite honorably. They could have tried to screw us if they wanted to, but they're not. They're treating us honorably and decently and as professionals. And, uh, frankly, I'm impressed and I'm appreciative. I, I'm, uh, I'm very grateful. And you, so you won't hear anything bad out of me about, uh, you know, about the, the process of this. Because, you know, it's hard. Everything's hard. And I'm freaked because, you know, I've, I still have two dependents and three mortgages. So I'm screwed, you know. So, I, you know, we need, we need jobs. <laughs> Please, oh God. Please, God. 
<laughs> just bought a new car. <laughs> new phone. <laughs> no, the only thing I'm worried about is Jack the Good Boy. I swear, I'll, I will live in a stable before I, I, I'll do anything to not have to. No, I can't even think about it. It's going to make me too upset. Um, but And that's why, in fact, my Harleys are for sale. I put them on Facebook. Did you put it on Facebook? Yes, okay, on Facebook. Uh, my, both my Harleys are now for sale. Whatever I can get for them, uh, and that's Jack money. That's that. Uh, any money I get for those Harleys is going right into an account. I got to twenty take, bucks in my pocket. I'll take it. Well, <laughs> make it forty, and we're in. Uh, and that's going to go right to a Jack fund to make sure that no matter what happens to me, that he's taken care of for uh, you know a couple three years or something to make sure that everything. But that's just for the record. Okay. All right. Now, four zero four seven four one ten sixty seven. Oh, by the way, about this religious thing. It's not surprising. Uh, many, many years, well, I'll tell you when it was, when I was in, uh, right before I went to graduate school, I got out of the Marines, uh, finished my bachelor's at Arizona State. I was going to Michigan State for graduate school. And that summer before I started graduate school, my new, new wife and I uh, were staying in the uh, mansion owned by the Westinghouse family, uh, ironically. And that's where we conceived our firstborn daughter, Jennifer. Now, uh, during that summertime, I also got a job working at a, uh, a rock and roll little town radio station from 6 to, I think it was 6, a, 6 p.m. to 11 p.m., which is a long air shift. Five hours is a very long shift. And and at that radio station at that time, at 11 o'clock, I, was, I had to put on a long-playing album, the old Wax al- 78 or 33 and a third album, two of them back-to-back, of HLH Company, HL Hunt these are the, I guess they're Texas people or, or Southwest people, and they're rich and they're Christian people. And, they, and they're very right-wing, conservative, uh, very uh, 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 Christian-like, and very extremely conservative. And the station didn't want to play it because, you know, it was a rating. Well, at 11 o'clock at night, it really didn't matter that much. But the station was sick and tired of it. They wanted to get rid of them. So they tripled their rates. And the guy said, okay, we'll pay it because they wanted to be on the air. I mean, these, the, the, if you have money, they're, you're getting on the radio. I mean, they, they will buy their way on the air. So this was not surprising. And, you know, God bless them. I hope they're successful, and I don't have a, a thing. Anyway, we're all kind of freaked out because it's not just me. Flounder, I mean, uh, Pete, uh, <laughs> I mean, everybody. We're all a couple of sales guys. I mean, uh, Porter, my, you know, I mean, all these guys are, are now looking for work. So, uh, and let me say one more thing, by the way, just for the record. It's going to be, uh, if we have to move, we have to move. But um, I'd sure love to stay in Atlanta. I don't know how it's going to happen because there are places here that, that will not hire us, even though we are a ready-made show. Think about it. You could just say, okay, we'll take you guys, start, boom, you're in. You wouldn't have to worry about yeah. anything, no marketing, no no moving people. It's just, we're here, we're done. Oh, yeah, hold on, there's a new Just add whiskey. This. Just, yeah. <laughs> anyway, and I guarantee you, I would be willing to work for free across the street at, at We Suck and Blither uh, doing an afternoon show where I guarantee him we would do better ratings than there have right now, and if we didn't, I wouldn't take a salary. That's how confident I am that, we, that, that it would work. Anyway, uh, hold on, here's the news breaker line. Let's get the first things first, Pete. Let's use on the old uh, news breaker line there. Uh, good afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Oh. Timmer. Oh. This is Pope Francis. Oh, uh, Pope Wonderfulness, you know, how you doing? <laughs> you haven't heard my prayers. <laughs> well, you know, God doesn't pick up on guys who will support Planned Parenthood and rewrite the uh, Bible on the first ring. Okay? The first ring. I, don't have that I should have called back. My fault. I don't have that much pull. I, I did say this prayer over and over again. Yes, which one? Hail Mary, full of grace. Mm-hmm. Why couldn't they put us in 99 X's place? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'd like to help you. Yeah, right. Yeah, sure. We would. <laughs> Mr. Kim, I yes. don't want to sound like a, a backstabbing opportunist, no, but no, I, no. I have to confess that I did put in a call to the new owners. Oh, you did? Oh, well, Christian people, yeah. Well, there wasn't any interest. They said they were looking for people that were well versed in Christianity. <laughs> <laughs> You know, people who preach the scriptures instead of freewheeling the New Testament and he was writing the <laughs> Lord's Prayer on his own without running it by God first. So they were really interested in the Pope contributing to their new format. <laughs> I know it's a very sad day at the old talk, formerly called <laughs> 1067. Yes, yes. No wonder they wouldn't spring for forty dollars for a decal for the station. <laughs> <laughs> he must have known something. Yeah, yeah. We just found, we just found out about this uh, this afternoon. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, it just happened just now. <laughs> right. What a surprise! They sold it out from under us. We wanted to keep you on. <laughs> No, I know it's a sad day. It's yeah. no longer talk 1067. <laughs> <laughs> 
you have to be appreciative of the fact <laughs> yes. that since 2013, yeah. management did everything in their power to make this station work. Oh, wait. <laughs> they never did a thing. They never... Oh, wait. <laughs> Zero promotion, never lifted a finger, and we tied Limbaugh and beat Hannity, but, you know. It, uh, yeah. yeah, only openly undermined the whole show. I think. Nah, no big deal. No wonder my first reaction to the news was overwhelming joy and relief. <laughs> Some of us have money in the bank. Finally, laugh, laugh. Thank God. Finally get on me to life. <laughs> Some of us have paid for real estate that don't need that. <laughs> I missed that boat, all right. I don't want to make light of your situation, but I do have problems of my own. You have problems of your own, sir? I think maybe you mentioned it yesterday. A new book claims that 80% of the priests in the Vatican are gay. A gay priests, yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of them, yeah. It's even a higher percentage than Cox Broadcasting Executives, Midtown Waiters, or American Airline male flight attendants. It's a real problem. Brits, <laughs> sir! <laughs> Oh, I forgot. Those Cox Broadcasting executives are great guys. I love them all. Well, they're I'm wonderful sorry. people. Never Personally, they're great oh, guys. Yeah, that's right. yeah. That's right. But you know, Mr. Kimmer, as yeah. bad as I feel yeah. for you and Pete Davis yeah. Yeah. and Flounder yeah. and, and, the, and the Hangman. <laughs> oh, I know. The Hangman's got more opportunities than all of us. <laughs> He's, He's covered his butt, all right. Everybody, everybody, that's right, you know. <laughs> He knew what he was doing, ducking out at three and going to six eighty to moonlight. But anyway, <laughs> here's a pope that wants to tell everything. <laughs> the guy I feel worse for out of everybody is yeah. Shelley Winter. Shelley Winter, sure, yeah. Well, you know, once this job's over, he's going to have to start buying his own lunch again. <laughs> And Shelly's taking the hardest hit, so he's the only one of us that has any endorsement. <laughs> always, well, you're always cheer everybody up and put a put a positive spin. Well, on we're everything. all smiling here now. You're <laughs> wonderful. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You so much. <laughs> Holy fantastic, Kelly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> put us on 99X. How hard is that? <laughs> Just switch right the hell over. We made O share points for God's sake. <laughs> 307 on uh, the new talk 1067. Uh, the formerly talk 1067. 307 and a half there. Oh, God, we got so much. Uh, hold on. I promise to get all your calls and I'll whip through as quickly as I can. Uh, uh, here's uh, Chris won the TV set from the Shannon Burke business on 7 there, Pete, on the new talk one, the formerly talk one on 7. Number 7. Oh, no. Here we go. Chris, welcome aboard, man. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Kimmer? How's it going, man? Well, we're hanging in there. Hanging in there. Oh, man, just wanted to say I'm going to hopefully you uh, stick around Atlanta. We can stay on the air. You and Pete, man, love you guys. Love uh, listening to you guys. Been, you know, listening to you for a long time, man. You guys are awesome. Well, we uh, sure have fun. It's uh, it's really a shame. And, and it, we, we all feel bad about what happened, and uh, especially since we were actually, if the, in, a, in a, a humble way, I say we were very successful at pulling this off, and yet it doesn't really matter because, you know, business is business, and it's 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 too bad. But, you know, but it, life is hard. Why should I get a break in life? You know, I'm no different than anybody else. <laughs> So. Well, I hope you get a break, man. I hope uh, all things work out for the best for you guys. And, you know, you got a lot of support out here. We appreciate you. Uh, my wife wanted me to tell you she appreciated your kind words the day after the uh, Super Bowl. Uh, I and, hope uh, I didn't embarrass her. She is so beautiful. God, she, I mean, I couldn't take my eyes off her. She is one of the most naturally stop, lovely. Stop, no, no, just stop. a minute. These guys, I'm, I'm talking to her husband right now. She's one one of the most naturally lovely women. I mean, I was just very impressed with. Just seems so nice and natural and and sweet. And I was uh, was very impressed. And you have a great family there. Anyway, that's all. No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> Stop talking. No, I have a great one. Thanks, Chris. All right, man. See you. <laughs> Come on. I got, well, I'm you know I'm at the age where I can say that. He's no, I'm not hitting on his wife or crying out loud. <laughs> Only because he was there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, hold on. I promise. Uh, AJ and Rich and David and Charles and Pam and Alan and Steve and everybody. 309 on the new time. Former talk, 1067. Have an express loop and Matt Orr. 400 southbound, just clearing up trouble just before Hammond Drive. Traffic board sponsored by O'Charlie's Restaurant and Bar. They had two lefts blocked. You're still pushed back around the North Springs Marta Station, but things are starting to get better. Road work not making any better on the east wall. 285 northbound at Lawrenceville Highway. You got a right lane block there, slamming you back into I-20. And bottom of the perimeter trying to clear a stall. 285 eastbound at Flat Shoals, and that's blocking a far left. Now through Sunday, get dinner for two with O'Charlie's Date Night Duo. You each get their slow-roasted prime rib or grilled salmon with a side and a shared appetizer. Just $13.99 per 
a person. Try it at O'Charlie's. Right now, traffic. Matt Dorr, the new talk, 1067. Making radio great again, one listener at a time. After three hours a day over the past year, year and a half, I, I think I've got a little bit of insight into your mind between you and Chad and the narrative. I'll keep listening to you, Mike. The New Talk 106.7. Uh, 310 on the New Talk, oh, formerly Talk 106.7. Uh, get all your calls, I promise, I promise, on uh, the New Talk. By the way, speaking of having to sell your house, <laughs> well. <laughs> Hello, Mark Spain. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> Mark Spain Real Estate. Oh, mercy. See, this is, you know, this is what, this is exactly what happens. Things like this happen to everybody at some point. And if you're all of a sudden going, oh my God, I've got to move, or you got to leave town, you got to put your house on the market, the last thing you want to do is fool with it. You don't want to be worried about landscaping and upgrades and painting and redoing driveways. And I mean, oh man, and open houses and lock boxes. The last thing you need is the hassle to sell your home. Let Mark Spain, guaranteed offer, take it all for you. Let him do all the hard work. You don't have to do anything but make a phone call and look him up on the web. It's a hassle you can avoid with a Mark, State, a Mark Spain real estate guaranteed offer. How about this? How about no showings? How about no open houses to worry about? How about no negotiations? No fret over renegotiating earnest money or conditions and stuff like that. Forget it. Mark Spain's real estate guaranteed offer means you can receive an offer and close in as little as three weeks, maybe less. Like Gary did in ten, less than 10 days. Evan did it in seven and got $30,000 more than he was expecting. I t- this is really this is the way to go. Here's what you do. You get to, if you're selling, get to Mark Spain. MarkSpain.com slash guaranteed offer. That's markspain.com slash guaranteed offer and start packing. Kimber tried to change his password to penis, <laughs> but they said it was too short. <laughs> it's the Kimber Show on the new talk. Uh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, pick on me while I'm down. That's uh, all good. 314. It's sad news. We're all out of here in uh, 90 days or so. It, it may not be it may 15th. It may be whenever the FCC officially validates the paperwork. But sometime around the middle of May, we're all we're, we're gone because the station sold to an outfit in California that's going to be a Christian pop music and so forth starting sometime in May or June. Anyway, so it's all you know. It's all good. The company's treating us right. Uh, they're they're. Uh, I mean, I really, I'm impressed. They, they could have screwed with us, and they and they're really doing the right thing. And I'm I'm impressed and grateful. And thank you guys. Uh, I think it's you know we need to just put it out where it's true. And uh, I think it could be a lot worse. <laughs> Make it easier for us. All right, today this is uh, Prince it was on this day in 1996. Prince married dancer Might Hay in Minneapolis, and they lived happily ever after. Oh, sorry. All right, hold on to the phones. 315. All right, hold on a second. Here, uh, well, right to the top, Pete. AJ on the New Talk 1067. Hello, AJ. I tell you, this is the kind of day where you and Pete <laughs> should scrap all the birthdays and rejoiners and just come out of every break with the wreck of the Edmonds and Cheryl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> It's an idea. Well, I'm as taken aback as you are about the sale. Where are the Braves games going to be heard? First of all, will Pete still be doing a pregame? Nope. Uh, nope. And we don't know. Uh, we don't know where. And nope and for Pete. And we don't care. Nope. And it's you know <laughs> since they've um, well maybe we hope they're doing well. Obviously, as, as Braves, we like the Braves, but we don't know what they're going to do. I don't honestly. Well, I, don't I am so remorseful about the news that I wrote a limerick for you guys. All right, AJ with a limerick right. right. There once was a talk station on 106.7, bound literally for Radio Heaven. So this appeal I convey for the next 89 plus days, no ready day playhouses, I'm begging. <laughs> <We're rock. laughs> Except for five. <laughs> Sorry. All right, hold on. Here's uh, Wretch on the New Talk 106.7. Hello, Wretch. How's it going? Oh, man, it's, uh, it's a hard day today. Yeah. I hit the road. I'm a trucker, and... I turn on iHeartRadio. I'm out here in Texas, man. I turn on iHeartRadio and just put a knot in my stomach. Yeah, well, we appreciate it. We're all, I, nobody slept much last night that I know of, and it's, uh, we're all kind of a wreck here today. But again, you know, it's it's business, and it's it's the business we chose. And for the record, radio is a dying business. Radio is a dying business. I'll give you one example, of Rich, and I'm sorry I'm talking so much. I'm kind of floundering because I haven't had any sleep. Sorry. Uh, and I, uh, I have been in this business for 54 years. I had my first professional paying job 54 years ago. I guarantee you there, oh, did you hang up on it or did he quit? He, did he dump out? Oh, sorry. Did you I hang up? Oh, Pete. He was a talk trucker from Texas calling us. Well, anyway. We saved him some money. Well, sure. Anyway, uh, but, 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 here, but I guarantee you <laughs> that a, a 23-year-old kid getting out of college today is not going to be in radio 54 years from now. 
So I am the last. You guys are younger than that, but I'm I'm basically the last of the old fart ilk. I mean, th- this is it. When I'm gone, it's over because nobody's going to be in the business for fifty years anymore. Okay, you're not you're not helping our sales pitch. Give her- well, I still got a few good years left in me. I mean, it's not like it's a secret. But again, do I sound like an old? I mean, I no, I'm, no. I got years left in me. No, no. I'm not going anywhere anyway. But the business, it's radio's a dying business. It's just not the same. By a mile, and uh, we were proving it right now. All right, hold on. Here's uh, uh, David I'm on uh, three. Pete on the New Talk 106. Hello, David. Welcome. How you doing, sir? Well, not so good, but uh, got some good news for you, though. What's that? Um, you don't have to pay for a quick weight loss anymore because unemployed, you're not going to be eating anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I lost two pounds last night. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Um, anyway, um, I was born in 72. That's when you came to town. So Yeah, that's right. You know, it, it's a sad day. I've listened to you my whole life. Wow. Um, to give you something, though, you actually bring people together. <clears throat> this is a shout-out to my buddy, uh, Robbie the Mailman at McDonough. We met one day, got a talk, and it's like, oh, hell, you listen to camera? I'm like, yeah, I do. <laughs> and, you know, so, you you know, you made a couple, made a couple of guys some uh, good friends, and we appreciate everything you've done. And well, it's so and nice. You know, it, and I may be the only person to ever say this, yeah. But I kind of like the rainy day play. <laughs> no, you're right. Well, you're I, the only guy who's ever said it. <laughs> just for that, we'll do it. We'll do one again tomorrow, just for the heck of it. It's already oh, hell, do a whole day of it. You know, you we're go. already retching over this. Yeah. We'll do a whole day. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate your nice word, your kind words to it. Uh, you know, we don't. Uh, again, I say this frequently that we don't realize as we're doing this job, you kind of sometimes forget that it's real, and there are real people who actually are reacting to things we're saying. And uh, we try to remember that. This lady just wrote on Facebook that she moved down from New Jersey or somewhere about four and a half years ago, and they were scared. They didn't know anybody down here. They didn't have any friends. And that she started listening to this station, and we helped get her through that. That really? move and everything. Oh, what a nice thing to say. Yeah. Well. Oh, man. See, now I'm just getting sad again. You know, I just, I hate, I hate just... You think, oh, it, it, no. Well, it, ha- it, it happens. It's, you know, I, I have no complaints. Believe me, the la- hell, I've, you know, this is, I've been through a lot worse things than this. All right, hold on. Uh, Trump will sign the deal to prevent the shutdown and declare a national emergency. Yes. Get As it should get be. Get it done. And if they don't like it, they can kiss your butt. You know they're going to immediately fi- uh, file a, a, a complaint with the Supreme Court. So this will go to the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court will rule that Donald Trump, as president of the United States, has the right to declare a national emergency. So finally, he should have done this two years ago. He should have done it the first week in office. I'm declaring a national emergency. Take me to court and see what happens to you. But he's doing it. So that's good. He's doing the right things. He's doing the right things. 320. Uh, so let's do a quick break here, and uh, I promise you, uh, Chris and John and Charles and Pam and Nancy and Frank and Steve, all coming up here on the uh, new right, talk. Now uh, the uh, the uh, formerly talk uh, yeah. new uh, former right. talk. Welcome here. to my convenience store. Would you like some googie googie? Oh, I have some very delicious googie googie. Only ninety nine cents plus tax. What? Try my googie googie. Try my googie googie. Try my googie googie. Try my. <laughs> 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 and now you're having an express loop traffic check and Matt Noir. Pulling that road work off the east wall. Traffic board sponsored by O'Charlie's Restaurant Bar. Had a uh, right lane blocked, pushing you back to around Covington Highway now as things start to get a little better. Also cleared the stall bottom of the perimeter, 285 eastbound at Flat Shoals. A bit of brake light back to Boulder Crest, but you're starting to pick up some speed now. Back over to 20 into cab. And new one popped up on the downtown connector northbound right at I-20. It's got a center lane blocked, but hero units all over it. You were already back to Langford Parkway. Shouldn't add too much extra to that ride back into Midtown. Now through Sunday, get dinner for two with O'Charlie's Date Night Duo. You each Get the slow roasted prime rib or grilled salmon with a side and a shared appetizer. Just thirteen ninety nine per person. Try it at O'Charlie's. Right now, door to door traffic on the new Talk 1067. From the RBM of Alpharetta, Mercedes Benz Business Center. Hey, baby, it's your old basketball buddy for all four seasons garage and entry doors. Dan Watkins and his team are real PTPs, prime time players, baby. When it comes to quality workmanship, professional service, and a great new garage or entry door, they've got their eye out for you, and so do I. Check them out today at allfourseasonsgarages.com. Visit KTMRoofing.com, a proud sponsor of the new Talk 1067, where Atlanta comes to talk. Yo, this is Sylvester <laughs> Stallone. Rocky. And this portion of our show is brought to you by my next door neighbor. Yeah, oh. yeah he died of overdosing on Viagra. Oh, no. And his poor wife 
Boy, did she take it hard. You know what I mean? And now here's your host, the chemist. Now, see, what radio station wouldn't appreciate that kind of, <laughs> of news judgment? I... 326, look out, it's only me. It's only the Kimmer on the formerly Talk 1067. Elton John, on this day in 1984, married his studio engineer, Renate Blowell. Now, uh, the marriage lasted four years. I, what was the last name? I don't remember. <laughs> it's, blo- well, it's, pre- it's spelled B L A U E L, Blowell. I didn't say it, I'm just spelling it. Uh, quick birthday or two. Oh, my, Meg Tilly. Well, 30 years ago, Meg Tilly. She's now 59 years old, Meg Tilly. Uh, Ken Wall from the old TV show Wise Guy, 62. I can't believe he never made it bigger in he, he, acting. He was a pain in the butt to work with. He sued people. And yeah, I guess, because yeah. he was. I thought he was the next up and coming. Anyway, all right, let's oh, get back to the phones. I, I just, yes. You're playing Elton John? Yeah. I want to make a big announcement here. Right. Yes. Don't worry about us. We have landed on our feet. Oh, we got another job? No Kimmer, career? Flounder, Jim, and I already have a gig lined up. That's right. We're becoming roadies. For Atlanta music legend Elton John. Oh my God, he performs like every week for years. Have oh. we got another ten years of work ahead of us? Yay! Hey. Nice going, Pete. Fantastic. Good That's work. what's that? Security. What now? What? What's, what's what? That? What now? Oh, he's. Is that good work? Yeah, but he's uh, he, he's what now? He's quitting. He's retiring. One one more concert. Oh my God! This is a farewell. Well, that figures. Yeah, right. I think I'll buy oh, another no. car. <laughs> Three twenty-seven. <laughs> Hold on. Here's, I'm screwed. I'm so screwed. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, here's uh, Pammy uh, on uh, five. Uh, Pete on uh, the new talk one zero six seven. Hello. Uh, there we go. Pam. Hi. You're on the radio. Welcome aboard. Hi, how you doing, man? I, well, I shouldn't have said that. No, uh, we're fine. We'll be well, all right. You know, it's only I know life, it. you know. <laughs> Disaster. Yeah, well, I've got a barn. Yeah, I'll and, take it. Uh, <laughs> my last horse died in the pie. summer of 16, so uh, I know I'm geographically not uh, <laughs> where you are. Where, where are you located? Uh, anyway, push comes to shove. Oh well, you're very you're very sweet. I, everything's fine. We'll, we'll figure something out, and I I'll get these Harley sold and take care of Jack for make sure he's taken care of for another couple of years, no matter what. And then uh, we'll be, and then we'll take we'll worry about me later. Anyway, thanks. Well, y'all Pam. are yeah. fine. I'm, I, I, y'all are going to land on your feet. I, what about me? <laughs> well, <laughs> you're killing me. Well, uh, you I, know, I love listening to you guys. You know, if, my sanity. If we could figure out a way to make any money on a podcast, maybe we'll do that. The, the problem is, I don't know yeah, whether people would be willing. Or, or XM radio, or well, I didn't even know how to. Show. Yeah, uh, if we, I don't have an agent. Tin foil, we'll make a, we'll make an antenna. Uh, their tin foil antenna. That's the best idea I've heard in a long time. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't even know how to begin trying to get. Well, Shannon was talking about it earlier. He did it a few years back. The problem is, is you do all you of the do overhead, everything. Yeah. the sales, engineering, everything is on. Yeah, you. but if there's money, if there's if, if there's if there's but, money to be made. But how much can you charge in a podcast? Five, ten bucks a month. I think it's the uh, amount of bucks? hits you get and stuff like that. Yeah. So if you go uh, on to a, yeah, anyway, you know who can know. answer all these questions Who's about that? XM Sirius and podcasts? Who's that? An agent. Yeah. Oh well, <laughs> what an idea. Uh, here's uh, Nancy Pete on six on the New Talk One Hundred Six. Hello, Nancy. Thank you for holding. Well, finally, you're on the radio. How you doing? Kimmer, I should have known something was up when yesterday they had reruns going, and I thought, gosh, is he sick? No, they had you in a meeting the day before Valentine's. <laughs> what a wonderful say- way to say I love you. Valentine's Day but, massacre, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Kimmer, everybody here at my workplace listens to you, and y'all are the only station. Look, they still call it the new 106.7 yeah. News wow. Radio, all right? And you were the only station that actually had a conservative point of view consistently, and yeah. you're the last stand for that. Heaven knows we're sorry, brother. It's no good yeah. anymore. They are sorry. They have the right middle letter. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, look, I'm a Christian, but I don't like Christian pop rock. Yeah, you know, well, it's we the, got enough of that. You know, they okay? they must have done some research somewhere because they don't pay you 20 or $30 million for one radio right. station to play Christian rock if they didn't think it would work. So. I well, you know, know what? No pun intended, but Jesus. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like Christmas, but Jesus, you know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think there's a deep, dark conspiracy behind it, because I think they just are trying to shut down conservative voices. So y'all find some other way, something, a podcast, well, another station that has a little bit of sense, anything. Well, we're working we at it. We need your voices well, in, Nancy, here in Atlanta. Well, you're very sweet. Thank you so much. And I I promise you, we're, we're trying not to go anywhere. We'll see what happens. By the way, and Roddy Ho's column <coughs> yesterday, 
uh, when he finally got around to writing it. Yeah, I'm surprised he hasn't called uh, anybody. Uh, <laughs> well, anyway. He used to call us. Uh, he used to call me all the time, and yeah. I usually say no comment, and he'd say, okay, off the record, then I'd talk to him. Yeah. But he hasn't called, I think, because he's still ticked off about Probably. some <laughs> comments over the years. Well, he quoted the guy who runs this Christian thing out of California, Yeah. and the guy says, well, we're just glad that we can bring people to Jesus through the music. I'm going, buddy, <laughs> you not a one soul has mistake. ever been brought to Jesus from, from your pop music. <laughs> not here in Atlanta starting this summer, that's for sure. All right, hold on, 331, man. Uh, news break line's coming up. Here's, um, uh, geez, we're holding so long. Here, uh, Frank on 7, Pete, if you don't mind. And uh, Steve's coming up, and Beverly and uh, Franklin and Leonard and Brian and Jordan. God, I'll get the, uh, hey, uh, welcome aboard, uh, Frank. How you doing? Good, camera. Hey, Semper Fi, one more into another. Thank you, Semper Fi, sir. Hey, uh, this new company, it was what, K-Love, you said? Something like that, yeah. Oh, okay. Now, they uh, they did research, I guess, right? Uh, they must have, or they wouldn't have paid all this money. They, they bought uh, about a half dozen of the Cumulus radio stations, but the only one they bought in Atlanta was this one. And they bought it for two reasons. One, we have a great signal. We get picked up in other states. We have a really good signal. And secondly, we're successful. So we have a lot of people listening, so they're coming into a market that already has a successful radio station. If we had been less successful, we'd still be working after May 15th. But, you know, but that's the way it goes. It's really weird, because every time it rains and the wind blows, your uh, transmitter goes down one my <laughs> well, I'll bet they'll be fixing that before too long. <laughs> Tower to God, my hey. friend. <laughs> you, you guys will be fine. Thanks, Frank. I suffer I appreciate it. Here's a Steve on the bottom. Steve, Steve, well, Steve, not right Steve, now. Steve, Steve will be here any Steve, minute. Not Steve, this second, Steve, but Steve, Steve. fairly soon. Um, Steve, well, Steve, Steve, you're on the radio, man. How's it going? Welcome. I'm bummed out today hearing this news, but you know, I listen to you from Washington, D.C., and all across the board, you're all good. You're a very talented group. We would love to have you in Washington. Unfortunately, there's two people that own the Washington radio station, Daniel Snyder and yeah. uh, Hughes, and they're, and they're both uh, very liberal liberals. Democrats. Yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> so that's they true. probably couldn't use you, but golly, we could use the balance up here. I listen to you on the iHeart Radio app from Washington, D.C. Excellent. And, 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 I mean, you guys are all of it, really, I'm sure. And these days, radio, as you know, you know, it happens through these apps. So you just got to hook up with somebody to get this app going, and you can stay yeah. right there. Yeah. Well, we'll see. You know, uh, Steve, thanks. Again, I, we're, we're still checking our options. I haven't, I don't have a headhunter. I don't have an agent. Uh, this has all just happened. And at, at the moment, I'm just trying to, you know, I'm going to have to move into a, a smaller, cheaper place. I'm selling my Harleys. Uh, and, it, you know, everything, th- a lot of things are going to be changing. And if we can stay in Atlanta, we will, obviously. And if we can stay together, we will, too. But we'll see. 333. All right, now, hold on. Oh, there's a newsbreaker line. Hold on. I think. Yeah. Is that, that's probably it. Hold on, you calls. We get everybody a call. Hold on. There's a newsbreaker line. See who's on the old newsbreaker line. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Kim. This is Robert <laughs> De Niro calling. Oh, hey, Robert. How you doing? What's the matter with you? When I bought that, when you bought that car, what did I tell you? Don't buy anything big. <laughs> I, I, to... I don't care where you got the new Mustang. Take it back. I don't care if it's in your mother's name. It's a wedding gift. Take it back. I don't care where you got it. I told you, don't buy anything big. <laughs> what did I tell you, Pete Davis? Don't move. Don't move now. The move. The time. He, Sorry. Moved. he moved across the street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what were you thinking? You know, I mean. What's the matter with you guys? Didn't you see the writing on the wall that said, for a good time, stop by Hangman's house between 3 and... Well, no, he's home about That's different. Thing, but stop by, you know. <laughs> I feel really bad. I do. Management said there's nothing we could do. We tried. <laughs> you know? we could do yeah. <laughs> We've got three open FM signals that we could put you on, but there's nothing we could do, nothing my could ass. Do yeah, now. right. Uh, I don't know. And the only thing those guys hate more than talk radio is the U.S. military and the American flag. Sort of like me. Anyway, what's the matter with you? What's the matter with us? How did you not know this was going to happen? I mean, even up Molly Madeline heard about it. She, heard <laughs> she, did. she did. She heard things, you know. She heard things. Yeah. Feel bad Madeline. for you and your station. I wish. Yeah. I wish there's something that I, Robert De Niro could do. Oh my God! I heard this morning. What? At the old, old talk, formerly talk, uh, used to be talk yeah. one hundred six seven. Yeah. yeah. There were there were more long faces than Sarah Jessica Parker's family reunion. There were a lot of long faces long over there, faces, you know. You see. That's right. Sad Thank you so it. much. Uh, <laughs> they're celebrating over it. We suck in Blivy, you know. Oh, I they're mean, celebrating, uh, sure. Yeah. Oh, you know, the slogan is "Winning by default since 1985." <laughs> <laughs> It's like Clear Channel taking the FM down and handing the audience. This is the best thing Sucking Blither has gotten since GST gave him Rush Limbaugh so they could put on Spanish sports. By the way, by the way, how did that work out? It's not working out too good. 
You know, there's a radio show that actually beat Rush Limbaugh a time in a major market in, in the ratings consistently with zero promotion. Did yeah. you know about that show? Yeah, I heard about it. What's it called? nobody knows about that show. From, <laughs> yeah, that's you know, three to six. There's nothing nothing we can do, right. you know. <laughs> Kim, I can't believe that you and Pete let you yeah. take this thing take you by surprise. It's yeah. hard for me to believe. Really? What do you mean? I mean, this was even a rare instance when Stormy Daniels saw it coming. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what does it have to do? Hit you between the eyes? <laughs> What's the with you? I told you to take the cop back. I don't care where you got it. I don't care how many horsepower it's got. Take it back. Take it back. <laughs> <laughs> Great to be on. Thank you, Robert. Appreciate yeah, the advice. A little late. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but there's nothing management could do. You know, they try. <laughs> they try. Right. That's all right. Thank you, Robert. 336 on the New Talk 1067. And again, uh, we tease and joke all we want, but uh, our management team has been great with all of us. Uh, I mean, and I, you know, as much as we criticize them over the years, uh, they've been terrific. When, when the chips are down, uh, they came through, and uh, I'm personally very grateful because it could have been a lot worse than it is right now. So thank you, boys. 336, I promise to get all your calls. I'll do a better job of getting you on quickly on the New Talk 1067. Shelly Winter, morning 6 to 9. A smart kid, Cable Cutter Brian. What's going on, brother? Shelly, Shelly, man. Hey, listen, man. I think it's awesome how you started the day off with Killer Mike. Then you went to the president, and then you had Dude, the I didn't even recognize that. <laughs> then, and, and you had the opportunity to kick it with the governor. And, and believe me, I mean, I know that you weren't just another person that was invited and wasn't this. The haters, bro, your haters. Boy, you got a fire in the stomach right now. I promise you. The new talk, 1067, where Atlanta comes to talk. That would be we. 337. Hold on. I promise all your the lines are jammed and we'll get all your calls as quickly as I possibly can. Yeah, it's true. It's true. You can lose 20, 30, 40, uh, how about 100 pounds or more with results guaranteed for nine bucks a week. And that's all the services included, too. It's the Quick Weight Loss Center. Yeah, so there, you know, you can lose weight like I've been staying up all night, might lose a pound or two. But if really, when I wanted to get serious, I had to get the weight off uh, almost 30 years ago the first time. And I used to run marathons and work out a lot. I mean, it was, wasn't that. But then I had cancer and I had chemo and I couldn't work. Just whatever. A lot of different excuses and problems. But to the rescue, the Quick Weight Loss Center, because I'm an eater. I love to eat. I love food. And I mean actual fun food and desserts and chocolate and sweet and salty snacks and going to the beach for parties and stuff. I go every spring. I meet the family down at the beach at their, my favorite ex-wife's uh, place with her husband and uh, have our parties and everything else because the Quick Weight Loss Center is, for me, the way exactly I need it. And I've changed so much over almost 30 years, but the Quick Weight Loss Center changes with what I need. Quick Weight Loss, it works, costs less, and offers more for 44 years now. Eating so much food, lose up to 100 pounds or more, results guaranteed. No exercise gimmicks. Nothing required like that. No drinking meals out of a bag either. This week, lose nine bucks a week for losing the weight for nine dollars a week with all services included. Kids join free when parents sign up. Check out the conditions with a free consultation. Please tell them the Kimmer sent you when you give them a call. Here's the number. Quick weight loss. Five minutes. That's all it takes. You can save. 800 404 4050. 800 404 4050. Or click on the web, qwlc.com. That's qwlc.com. From the Haviland Express Loop Traffic Center, trouble on Lankford Parkway. All lanes shut down. It's Lankford 166 eastbound. That's right at Sylvan Road. They're shutting down all lanes, trying to drag everything back over to the right shoulder. Looks like that'll open in just a minute. Also, new crash on the east wall. 285 southbound at the East Ponce Church Street exit. Far left block. Slam, you get back into Spaghetti Junction. That's starting to jam traffic through Doraville. Back to around Ashford Dunwoody. Right now, traffic. Matt Dore on the new talk. What six seven. The Kimmer's on a whiskey diet. He's lost three days already. It's The Kimmer Show on the New Talk 106. I'm not a good drinker. 342. I'm a cheap drunk, no question about it. I cannot hold my liquor. 342. <laughs> uh, the new, uh, formerly New Talk 1067. Hold on there, uh, John and Franklin and Amy and Jerry and Beverly and Danny and Cliff. Is this Christian pop? It's Christian pop. <laughs> Coming to a radio station near you soon. <laughs> 1972, this was the very day that Greece opened off Broadway. Now, you know the TV movie Grease with John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John? The actual original Grease off Broadway, the original cast members, Barry Bostwick... Yeah. Who was in the, the midnight showing of the uh, Rocky Horror Picture, Rocky Horror Show. Picture Show? Barry Boswick and Adrienne Barbeau 
She of the Gigundo Mangalagungas <laughs> from Maud. Adrian Barbeau and the show moved to Broadway later that year uh, in 1972. It closed in 1980. Greece. All right, to the phones, 343. John on the New Talk 10 up on top there on the New Talk 1067. Hey, John, welcome aboard. Thank you for holding, sir. Appreciate it. Simplify, camera, simplify. Thanks, man. What's happening? <laughs> This is uh, this is the time for all of us out here to be simplify to you guys. Well, you're you're very kind. We just we appreciate all the nice thoughts, and uh, frankly, we're just you know we're just having fun doing our thing, and we're lucky to be to be this happy for well, this long. So what the heck? Well, I got a couple of quick points to make, and then I'll let you get to everybody else first. Sure. As liberal as your management team sounds like they are, even though they're being good to you right now, it's got to be chapping their butts that a Christian company's bought them out. I you know I don't actually I don't I, I, that's probably not true I think they just love the fact that it was a pile load of money but uh, but again they've been uh, they've been great with us and as much as we rib them and, and that's just radio I mean we do that because it's you know like Letterman did with his company for years but still uh, but uh, they're really uh, uh, I'm very impressed I mean we're 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 grateful and happy and uh, they're doing uh, under the circumstances we couldn't really ask anything more nope. to be honest with you uh, Franklin on four Pete on the New Talk one zero six seven Franklin thanks for holding so long sir welcome aboard. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I just wanted to say I appreciate all of y'all. I've been listening to you guys for a little over a year now. Uh, my friend Robbie at the McDonald Post Office turned me on to you guys, and listening to y'all while I'm delivering mail has been the most best thing I've had. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, well, I, very... I didn't know mailmen could get, actually be listen to this kind of a radio station. <laughs> Cause all kinds of people to go off the deep end, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, uh, well, I, well, I actually uh, deliver, deliver stuff out of my own vehicle. Oh, excellent. Uh, well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's called RCA, Rural Carriers. Uh, excellent. Cool. And, uh, and so, yeah, and so when he first turned me on to you, uh, when you were originally, I think it was noon to three, Yeah, uh, it was when I was on my route. And so, like, first off, I was like, who is this crazy guy? <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah. as, it, as a progressive listened more, I was like, well, this guy's pretty awesome. Uh, well, we have a great team. It's not me. It's this team. the post team. office because yeah. of all the liberals in there. Yeah. Well, yeah, I can see that. Well, Franklin, th- drive carefully out there. Thanks for your kind words, too. 345. Uh, let's see. Amy, I think that's Amy on 5, Pete, on the New Talk 1067. Hi, is this Amy? It is. Hi, How are you guys doing? Amy. Well, we've, we've been better, but we're fine. We're smiling and happy, and it's good to talk to you, so what the heck, you know, it could be a lot Well, worse. I have a job offer for you. I'll take it. I mean, what is it? <laughs> I'm an accountant. I'm here all alone in my office. I could use three strapping boys to come in and be my assistant. We're in. Yeah. <laughs> do you, do you have to? Do you have to know any math? <laughs> no, no. You just got to fetch me coffee and do what I ask you to do. You'll be fine. Well, it sounds like a winner to me, oh, Amy. <laughs> have a good day. Thanks, sweetie. It's great to talk to you. 340. Amy's one of our regulars around here. As the long as there's shows. no Mai Tais involved, we yeah, should be safe. There you go. <laughs> well, gee, tell us that story, no. Pete. <laughs> Wait, you have a little something there story to share with the rest of us? <laughs> Hold on. Here's uh, Jerry on 6, Pete, on the New Talk 1067. Hello, Jerry. Welcome aboard. Kimmer. Yeah, man. Man, I tell you, I've been listening to you guys for two or three years. Today is a sad day for me is when I found out I was retiring, and I mean that as a compliment. Well, you're very kind. Thanks, man. We we since, have a good team here. Since, since listening to you, I've got a concealed carry permit. Excellent. Two weeks ago, I bought me an AR-15. So Outstanding. Yeah, I'm, you're the man. I'm ready. <laughs> I appreciate all you guys, uh, but especially you. I've been listening to you the longest in the Good luck. Well, thanks, man. I really appreciate it, Jerry. That's our goal is to, is to arm more Americans. I think that's our <laughs> number one. Now we uh, on oh on four. Uh, four. Yeah. Uh, real line four. Is this Kara? Kimmer, hi baby, you're my hero. No, stop. You, you. are my love. <laughs> hi baby girl. You and Pete and Flounder, Brent. Uh, <laughs> you guys, I. I, my heart's <laughs> breaking right now. Well, I, I, I just, I, we're a family. Yeah, we got, we got very close. Apart. Yeah, we, we have become. Even though we, you know, workers tend to, you know, drift off after st- things, but still, we've, we've become very, very close as a, as a team over here. And I think it's because it was us against the world. This radio station was never a talk station until we started with this show six, five and a half years ago. And so we've really, it's, it's been a close knit family and. Uh, God, loved working with you, obviously, and Shannon. I mean, a whole crew. I mean, it's a, it really is a family. We're I, I wish we could find some way to stick together, but who knows? I wish maybe that we could somehow all just stick together. I I, I love you guys so much. 
You have no idea how much I love you guys. Oh, yeah? <laughs> what, what, what are you willing to do? Though? You have no idea. <laughs> Uh, you're the greatest. I'm in love uh, with you, dude. Well, you you're, know, you're the greatest. I, you're the you're the greatest, Kara. We love you. I became a dude. Yeah, I became a dude. You're a man's woman. Yeah, that's what you are. That's is a right. man's woman. Yeah. You are all girl, but you don't take crap off anybody, and you stick up for whatever needs to be sticking up to. You are a true man's woman, and I mean that in the very best possible way. Kimber, you're my you're my man. Well, you're, you're my number one man. You're, you're, I will love you to the day I die. Well, thanks, I will baby. Never ever stop loving you. <laughs> and Pete, stop loving you. And, and Brent, for that matter. Brent. I love the three of you guys. Like you well. are family. <laughs> well. You're, you're very... This is killing me. <laughs> I, I, I'm dying. I call drinking. I'm dying right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, vodka is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right now. I'd like you to meet my friend Vodka. <laughs> <laughs> my Daniela, I love you. She bought me some van. She bought me some vodka today. And um, it's three. What three thirty? Is it four o'clock? Now? Yeah, we'll, oh, we'll be right over. <laughs> is she still there? <laughs> I love you guys. I love you, and baby. You will always be my family. Uh, thanks, forever, baby. Never, 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 never. You rock, baby doll. Talk to you later, sweet. See you tomorrow. Thanks, Kara. That was nice. Three fifty already. Holy cow! I can't believe it. Uh, no. <laughs> now, Pete. <laughs> three fifty. Hold on, your lines are jammed. I promise to get everybody three fifty. Uh, Havlin Express Loop traffic. Here is Matt Door. Two eighty five southbound on the east side. Still working this crash at the East Ponce Church Street exit. You got a far left shutdown right now. Obviously pushing you back into Spaghetti Junction and making those minutes count up on that ride time. Trying to get back down to twenty. Downtown connector northbound. Just yank trouble out of your way at 17th Street. That now sits over onto the left shoulder, but that's not helping northbound traffic through Midtown. Langford Parkway still shut down eastbound for that crash until they can get everything moved back over to the right shoulder. And road where it popped up on the south side, 75 southbound at Hudson Bridge. Right now, just a right block, but traffic scooting by it pretty okay. Are you or your loved one over 65? You're from greater risk from serious complications from the flu. Fever is the main difference between cold and flu, so you need an accurate thermometer. The extra temporal scanners backed by more than 70 clinical studies, and it's quick and easy to use. Right now, traffic. Matt Dorr on the new Talk 1067. From the KTMRoofing.com studios, WYAY Gainesville, a cumulus station, where Atlanta comes to talk. The new Talk 1067. This is Morgan Freeman. Morgan. And this portion of our show is brought to you by the Kemmer Show replays and the Kemmer Show podcast. Wow. The Kemmer is not a compensated spokesperson. <laughs> the staff. Nice negotiating there, right? And now, here's your host, the Kemmer. Hey, yo. 355 on the New Talk 1067. Uh, the former New Talk. Oh, what is it? Oh, <laughs> oh. Well, we had to. It, well, this is a very sad song. Back in 1977, Janice Ian, the singer, received 500 Valentine's Day cards from fans after this song came out, talking about how she never got any uh, Valentine's cards or any other attention as a teenager in her ballad at 17. And if I remember correctly, the uh, the album cover on this uh, showed her face covered in, like, pimples and rashes and things like that. It was kind of an artistic rendering of it. And, uh, and she was all sad because she wasn't pretty. And she wrote about... Having a miserable life as a teenager. <laughs> but I wouldn't go back to be seven. Would you be 17 again for anything? Yeah, because I knew oh. who, what to invest in. No, 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 no. On. You go back and do it over again, not not knowing what not you know knowing. now. No, going back and live and your do life the same over again. Thing? Yeah, huh? I don't think so. Anyway, you had to see it. All right, hold on, hold on. 356. So let's get to the phones. Uh, let's see. Beverly on 7. Pete on the New Talk 1067. Hi, Beverly. Thanks for holding. How's it going? It's going okay, except for what I heard. Yeah. I'm just going to be real quick. Okay, I don't okay. have anything profound. I don't have anything funny. Well, either do we. Because so. I'm sick to my stomach. Yeah. But I want to thank you, your whole crew. I love y'all. Shannon show, love it. I, and I will tell you, this is the absolute truth. Yes, ma'am. The only time I ever turn on the radio is for you two. 
Wow. I don't listen to any other garbage. I don't listen to any of the music. I am, so my radio can just go away and die for all I care. <laughs> so I'm hoping that you all are going to, I know you will, you'll keep us informed about where y'all yeah. are going to land and what's going on. Hopefully. And it better be right here in Atlanta. Well, you're right here. Thanks, Beverly. You've been very sweet. I really appreciate it. Everybody's been very, again, we, we're, we're going to be here another three months probably. At sometime in mid-May, or there, depending on the FCC getting the paperwork authorized, at some point in mid-May or thereabouts, uh, the new California company will be taking over with Christian pop music uh, uh, and, on this whole radio station. Uh, Jonathan says, well, at least you'll get some pity sex. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you still have to find a girl willing to do it? You know what's funny, though? When I, when I got fired at GST and went out drinking at Manuals that night, yeah. an ex-girlfriend showed up. And and she got mad at me because I wouldn't let her drive me home, and I, oh, I should have. Yeah. And she yelled at me out, out of the parking lot. She drove away, and I was gonna have sex with you. Oh, no. whoa, whoa! <laughs> well, hey, Don't say that now. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with you? Uh, here's Danny on eight, Pete on the new talk one zero six seven. Hello, Danny. How's it going? Hi, uh, Cameron. I, I'm sad, just like everyone else. Feel like I've been kicked in the gut. Well, that, that's how uh, we feel. Honestly, it was uh, quite a shock, and it's you know, and, and it's. We try. Not, I'm trying not to. Th- I can't think about it right now because I'm trying to do a radio show. But but it's uh, right. it's troubling. I mean, uh, we have responsibilities, and all of a sudden, you know, I'm going to start a new thing at my age. Yeah, right. <laughs> so. Well, I, I realized I was a Kimmer fan when uh, when you filled in for Ludlow Fort once. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! Monday, and the first caller, the first caller was this guy that started playing an organ. <laughs> And you absolutely waxed this dude, and it knocked me out. And I knew I was hooked, and I'd listen to you if you ever got a show. And fast forward to now, Kimmer, I've been a fan for a year. I'll be darned. Well, and, thanks, man. And, yeah, and let me just say this real quick. Yeah. I, owe, I owe Pete an apology, and Pete, if you're, if you're yeah, listening, he's right you here. hear me. Yes, sir. Pete, I apologize for the Ant B and Barney pick that got me uh, kicked off your uh, Facebook page. Ant B and, B and Barney? Barney? What, were they doing something nasty? I don't remember. Ah, uh, well. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> well, go back on. Well, he'll yeah, let you on. back on. Come on back on. Hey, you're, everybody you're, gets on this you're, Everybody's yeah. on. You're very welcome, Danny, come especially after your nice comments. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Uh, 359 already. All right, hold on. Somebody's been hanging up forever and ever here. Um, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Cliff. Sorry, Pete. On two, Pete. Hi, Cliff. Thanks for your patience, man. I really appreciate it. How's it going? I'm good, Kimmer. How are you? Okie dokie. Given everything, we're all fine around here. It's going to be all right. I know y'all are going to land on your feet, but I got a couple of good points for you. All right. I want to thank you personally because um, at work today, uh, we got a profit share in check at Delta, and it, my chicken stub said, courtesy of the Kimmer. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> For all your wonderful tickets that you buy. <laughs> you, know, you got a little kickback from the Kimmer's overpriced phone ticket of 900 extra dollars. That's all right. And the only good thing is we only have three more months of the rainy day playhouse. That's for sure. <laughs> Thanks, Cliff. Semper five, man. I got to go. You're killing me. Uh, hold on. Here's uh, Trina on five, Pete, on the New Talk <laughs> 1067. Hi, Trina. How you doing? Um, uh, <laughs> I, I don't even have words. I really... Um, I'm going to be serious for a minute because sometimes I can be a little funny and I go off on my rants about terrible Ilan Omar and those people. But yeah. today it is about you and y'all's crew. Um, I have to tell you, I, 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 don't, I said it a few days ago when I was on the air. Unfortunately, I was fired uh, for social media yeah. for my job a few months ago. And that's when I landed on the lovely 1067. And I will tell you, as crazy as it sounds, you guys have truly been a part to help to get me through what I've been through. I even remember calling one of the times that one of the guys who answers the phones was like, you just have way too much time on your hands. <laughs> That's what I do. But you guys have really helped me with this too much time on my hands because there is nothing like you guys in Atlanta. And I'm so proud that you guys are here. And it's really a sad day um, to be seeing, uh, you know, the next three months will yeah. we'll be sad three months to know that you guys yeah. will, will hopefully I mean, not be on this air, but hopefully you will be on Atlanta's air. Um, and if any of y'all are looking for a single gal pal, I'll be at Tin Roof tonight, so come hang out with me. <laughs> All right, Tin Roof. Now, that Tin Roof, that's uh, um, in uh, Midtown? No, that's the one off of North Druid Hills. Oh, North Druid Hills. Cliff. That's near Channel, yes, near Channel like, 5. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah it's, well, and it's total dive and fun. Really good guys. They used to own the Star Bar in Little 5. Um, but I just, I, you guys are amazing, and you guys have done... Especially you, and thank you for your service, and thank you for always speaking truth and honesty. Um, and I just appreciate all that you guys have done. And for me, like I said again, I mean, you guys got me through some really hard times of just sitting in Atlanta and being like, "What am I to do today?" And I just turn on my radio, 
and then I'm able to call you guys and share my thoughts too. Well, so, thank you thank so you much. For everything. Thanks, Trina. You really, I've really appreciated this. Very sweet. Like Four oh two. Uh, a red tin, a tin roof, red roof, tin roof, I think. Tin roof on uh, North Wales. North Star Wales. Bar. You ever been there with, oh, with yeah. the Elvis Shrine there? In no, the I've never been no. Oh, they got the it, Elvis thing. God, yeah. I haven't been to Little Five Points in 25 years, I'll Looks bet you. the same. Yeah, it's not the same. It's more the urban. Same shops. Yeah, and, is, more, is, is it's it, more urban. Is it still kind of heavy metal and freaky and uh, it's you know, more urban. goofy? Really? <laughs> well, all right. Uh, maybe I won't go. <laughs> no, no. I, I don't. It's urban. I, I, I don't even know what that means. Uh, hold on a minute. Uh, here's a. Oh, we got the. Here's the newsbreaker line. Hold everything. Let's see. Let's see us on the old newsbreaker line. There. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Kimberly. This is Judge Smith. <laughs> Judge, how's it going? <laughs> Judge. Well, I just wanted to yes, call and yes, say sir. I feel bad for you, Kimmer. Yeah, I feel bad, sir. To you, yeah. I'd feel worse if you hadn't left me and Hangman out of your future plans a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> it was a misunderstanding. You in the ass, isn't it, you know? <laughs> I like that you left us out even after you were given another chance to correct it. You know, <laughs> Kimmer, are you sure you're not forgetting something? <laughs> Now oh I yeah, think it's me, Pete, Flounder, and Spalding. Uh, yeah, that's the plan, man. Uh, that's all we need for this show. Uh, I'm Marty Flounder. No. Newspaper line is number one. <laughs> that's right. That's a bunch of number two. <laughs> yes, but as hurt as I feel, and. Yeah. Neglected and peed on. I've still written a poem. <laughs> a poem. Yay! Judge Smale. Make Smale's. the whole staff feel better, oh, I hope. We're okay. honored, sir. Judge Smale is right here. It's easy to pod when you've been thrown out. <laughs> With the new talk, there is no joy. <laughs> but why lose sleep over liberal creeps who gave us boo-boo and that thief, Steve McCoy? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, whoever thought that hiring Michael Graham and the worst program director in America as your new talk, as your talk radio division uh, president would be bad for you. Congratulations to your intern, Christian, for buying the radio station. I didn't know she had that kind of money. <laughs> <laughs> Christian radio station. Maybe. Wow. I don't think it's such a same Christian, sir. <laughs> Pretty sure. Now, today, of course, yes. lest we forget, is Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Across America. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Virginia to Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax has a Valentine's Day surprise for oh. his new love interest. Oh, the Lieutenant Governor of Virginia has a surprise for him? Unfortunately, it involves a ski mask and duct tape. She doesn't <laughs> know that yet. It's some surprise. <laughs> yeah, surprise. <laughs> oh, man, just weeks away from not having Mr. Helper. <laughs> oh, God. It's going to be such a relief, you know. <laughs> worry about interrupting all the time. And <laughs> jumping on your lines. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding around. Yes. The callous disregard for all the people who will lose their livelihood over this decision. But enough uh, about the news department you got rid of a few weeks and months ago. It's the kind of insensitivity normally reserved for the Cherokee Christian Academy in the uh, oh, opinion of Judge Smale. A place where they wouldn't let my producer's kid and go to kindergarten because they thought I was such a degenerate. Don't they have a theme song over there, uh, Cherokee Christian Academy? <laughs> Jesus loves all of the talk hosts except that one and those two over there. <laughs> There's no hope for you and me when Jesus wants your frequency. <laughs> And they sold it to him to get rid of us. <laughs> yeah, we'd like to keep you and put you on one of our open frequencies that's doing nothing, but we'd rather lose $2 million in profits than push a conservative agenda because, hey, it's not like it's our money or anything. <laughs> we can dump that last part out of the one. Thank you so much, Judge. <laughs> <laughs> Doing a little smooth sailing here, you know. <laughs> 406. I'll hold everything. <laughs> I promise we'll get all your calls, and I'll, I'll do it the best I can. But first, we got tweets, and we got Pete. This ought to be rich. We got Pete's tweets. Yeah, we got a few Valentine's. We've forgotten completely uh, it's, it's Valentine's, Valentine's Day, man. Day. Yeah, we were talking about ourselves. Sorry about that. So one of our big listeners. Hmm? Rural girl. Rural girl. The rural drawer. What's a rural drawer? <laughs> says uh, she's been divorced a few times. All right. Well, okay. 
Uh, my parting Valentine message to the a-hole attorney husband was, <laughs> roses are red, violets are blue, our marriage is dead, wish you were too. No. <laughs> Succinct? <laughs> what's, what's that? <laughs> Philip puts this out. Mm. Marriage is like a deck of cards. Uh-huh. In the beginning, all you need is two hearts and a diamond. Mm. By the end, you wish you had a club and a spade. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy says, oh, mm. FYU, I owe you one, sir. I used your Valentine idea about cutting out the hearts, and I did it for my daughter and my wife, and it went over very well, sir. Excellent. I'm employed, but money is tight, so that was absolutely perfect. Thanks for your wisdom. Excellent. Little love notes for the lady in your life. Very good. <sighs> well, by now you've heard about it. As a caller on the Shannon Burke called it this morning, the St. Valentine Day Massacre. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, this is how we went into the meeting yesterday. This yeah. is, this, this, we were all full of ourselves. Yeah, Cock of the walk. Yeah, yeah, what could go Here wrong? Go. I am invincible. <laughs> invincible. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Here's what we were told in the meeting, frankly. Uh, My mind's made up. I've given this long and careful thought, and it has to be medical experiments for the lot of you. <laughs> <laughs> the good news, the new Christian pop station will sponsor a second NASCAR race at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Really cool. That's right. The Deuteronomy 500 is back. <laughs> and more good news, we have 90 days, no nights. No, no nights. So uh, our own religion, Christianity, yes. has stabbed us in the back here. Oh, As no. he said, when Jesus wants your frequency, it's, yeah, it's we may have to rethink this whole Islam thing, frankly. Uh, Shannon, Karen, Brett Barney will open up a tattoo parlor, liquor store, boob enhancement concession at Mercedes-Benz <laughs> Stadium. Mike Brooks will go back to cracking hippie heads in Piedmont Park. <laughs> Hangman will retire to his lair in Snellville to continue his <laughs> lifelong fascination with chloroform and taxidermy. <laughs> Randy Wiles will go back to hitting on random chicks at Blue Moon Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I have to tell you about that story. Uh, Darcy is joining the cast of Hamilton. Hey, you're... <laughs> Spawn and get your foot off the boat. We'll take on more DJ gigs at Johnny's Hideaway on top of learning CPR for use on the dance floor. <laughs> and don't forget Lee, little sweet virginal Christian. Your little Christian, yeah. Despite her unfortunate name these days, mm. is beginning a new chapter of her life, rescuing manatees and training them to be Kennesaw State cheerleaders. <laughs> and coming up with new and inventive ways to pick up cute boys by using the old... Whoops, I dropped my pencil trick. <laughs> Four times. <laughs> yeah. But that trick never worked. <laughs> I like you, Pete. 409. Hold on. All your calls, I promise, on the New Talk 1067. Have an express loop traffic. Matt Dorr, right here. 285 southbound, east side perimeter. Cleared up that crash right around the East Pont Church Street exit. Had a pair of left lanes blocked, but they got everything pushed back over to the right shoulder. You're still slow and go as you leave Spaghetti Junction trying to get back down the east wall. 20 outbound on the east side. You're going to be jammed out to around Panola Road. 20 on the other side of town gets better after Fulton Industrial Boulevard. But they're still making 285 southbound on the west side a bit slow back onto the top end. From a hot air balloon landing on a car to a load of concrete falling on it, they've covered it. Talk to farmers. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. Right now, traffic. Matt Dorr on the new talk, 1067. This is a snowflake free zone. Schumer and Pelosi, they look like the ones having a temper tantrum. Trump's been winning for three years, and it just pisses the liberals <laughs> off. It just pisses them off. I'm so glad Hillary Clinton's not our president. This is the New Talk 1067. 410, how are you? Hold on there, uh, paratrooper and Andy and Tiffany and Gary and Juke and uh, Jake and John and the whole uh, thing. Uh, <laughs> okay, perfect example. Let's say you suddenly have to sell your house. <laughs> if you're going through a problem, a job or a family thing or whatever, if you all of a sudden the last thing you need is the hassle of trying to sell a home. Holy smokes, what a nightmare. Until you get a hold of Mark Spain Real Estate and the guaranteed offer. Perfect timing to explain this. Just take all the stress out of that horrible position of you put yourself in when you're trying to do the right thing. Everybody's got a suggestion. What best to do to get the house sold? Are you worried about negotiating or renegotiating or the earnest money or inspections? <laughs> Mark Spain will take care of everything. If you've sold a home, you know the hassle of it. Well, Mark Spain takes away the hassle. No showings. No open houses, no negotiations, hassle-free, bypass the market and get it done. And I mean get it done with an offer and close in 21 days and, and sometimes even less than that. Uh, Evan did it in seven and got 30000 more than he thought he was going to. Gary did it in less than 10. Christopher said he made $20,000 more than he would have received if he'd done it a different way. I'm telling you, not only does it get sold, you get your money out of it. Mark Spain and the guaranteed offer. If I'm selling a house, I'm calling Mark Spain, and you should too, and here's why. Go to MarkSpain.com slash guaranteed offer and get it done. 
That's MarkSpain.com slash guaranteed offer and start packing. And now this dramatic pause. <laughs> no, <I'm sorry>. Olay! <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> and kill him. <laughs> That's all right. I'll take it from here. I'll just come out. Don't worry about it. Here we go. 413. Look at him. Got all your calls, I promise. <laughs> On the Formerly Talk 10670 with the Old Kimmer program. This was the day 1992. Weezer had their first practice as a band in Los Angeles. 1992, they played their first gig a few weeks later. 92, Weezer. And see, this day in history, Valentine's Day in 1929. The St. Valentine's Day Massacre in a Chicago garage as seven rivals of Al Capone's gang were gunned down. 1929. 413-441-1067-1067. 404-741-1067. Lines have been uh, pretty jammed all day. Uh, let's see, who's been waiting here the longest? Uh, here's uh, Tiffany on 5, Pete, on the New Talk 1067. Hey, Tiffany, how you doing? I'm heartbroken. How are you? Well, we're uh, a little heartbroken, too, but we're happy. We're smiling, and things will be fine. Put okay, the best let me ask you it. a question sure. real quick. I'm in sales and marketing. Mm-hmm. If you guys are all so important to so many Atlantans, and it's true, you guys literally make our day every day, is there no way that you can shop or I could shop other stations that need ratings to have you guys come in and fill their there's lots of well that of course that's the thought and by the way for the record again our our management team that we you know we pick on them mercifully because you know we like to pick on management i mean that's what we do but <laughs> but 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 seriously they, they've been wonderful about this they've uh, i mean this all came out of the blue and they've been terrific they're really uh, treating us great uh, they're giving us breaks we don't deserve i mean they've really been terrific but clearly right, we'd but... love to work on another station the problem is um we one we, we i come as a team you know i mean I, I, if i that's can bring exactly the what i'm saying yeah. everybody each person that's with each with Shannon and, and everyone, the whole morning through the night thing that you guys do needs to be marketed for another station that doesn't have good ratings. Well, there's it's a lot of them out there. Bad. The problem is they're, most of them are afraid. In fact, there are stations that I've we've talked to in the past who are all set to pull the trigger, and then and then their company headquarters, like in California, would say, oh, no, we don't want to bring those guys on there. We'd rather have syndicated. The, the pro- it's all money. The, honestly, the radio is yes, a dying business, Tiffany. You made this radio station. You guys have had to have made this radio right. station. Right. Yeah, we did. We made it successful. Oh, wow. Yeah, we were the first okay, uh, so talk show. your record, and there's the money. Yeah. <laughs> well, believe me, I, I'm all for it. I totally Good. agree. But, but it takes a station manager to say, okay, you know what? We're going to clear out our afternoon show and put this thing in there, and, and I guarantee you they make money. I guarantee you we would make more money at i can name several radio stations doing a show yes. that they're doing now we would kill them in the ratings kill and them. and i'd be i'd be so willing to do it i'd work for free uh, to prove that it would be successful so could i come up there possibly maybe one day and meet with you guys and do some sale and marketing for other people and look for a way to make this happen so we don't have to lose all you guys well i uh, coming out to see a person uh, yeah well we got this thing though it's, yeah, we, yeah, we, well you know Stephanie, we really, i need to get an if we're going to do this we need to get an agent and a headhunter and an official guy who's in the media in the business uh, because they know where the, all the openings are and the people and how much money they have and all that kind of stuff but again it's we're well, kind of floundering it's still so new that we really don't know what we're doing yet well, if there's something that I can do, I'd love to be able to leave my information with you because I am in sales and marketing. I, uh, I'll I tell you what. We'll, we'll, put you we'll put you on hold. Uh, hold on the right second. And uh, is uh, Darcy or who's in fact? Darcy, would, uh, would you mind getting her phone number? For, thanks, man. Uh, 416. I say this calls for action, and now, <laughs> nip it in the bud. The bud, people. Uh, here's uh, Carol on 2, Pete, on the New Talk 1067. Hey, Carol, how you doing? Oh, say it ain't so. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sick. Who's going to make me laugh in the afternoon? Well, I don't know what, you know, it's just... It's... Oh, my God. I'm so, <laughs> this is disgusting. Well... It but... really is. Listen, yeah. it, it, well, what it is, if they bought it, they're, they're from California. Yeah. You know what it is? It's a bunch of liberals trying to get the conservatives off the airwaves. Well, that, that's you, what it is. Yeah, well, it's a Christian rock station, so clearly they're not after you know uh, Harley riding troublemakers like us. So, uh, but you know that's it's business, and, and I, I have no I have no complaint with the business decision. They, they this company got offered so much money, there's no way they could have turned it down. They could not have refused the offer. Oh my god! So, and so you can't blame them. I, I know. I can't believe it. I'm a, no, you used to when they used to do the reruns. I used to be driving home at ten. 
11 o'clock at night, and, and I'll be the only car on the road, and I'll have your, your rerun on. And, I mean, I did this night after night after night after night. Well, not now anymore. To, <laughs> yeah, they've dumped oh us now. God, I, all, all four Nothing of anymore. You've got, to find, you've got to find another station, all four We'd of you. We'd love to. With all your, all your gang, you know, take everybody uh, with believe you. Believe me, we would love to. We would love to. You, Carol, you thanks, sweetie. Do it. Thank oh you. We, we're trying. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to laugh. I mean, <laughs> cold. Oh I'm starting to feel worse and worse now for them and not myself, and I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to lose everything Dead I ever man. had. Uh, man <laughs> man Here's uh, paratrooper Chris on one, Pete on the new talk with the camera. Hello, Chris. How's it going, man? Supper hey, five. Hey, camera. Hey, thanks for taking my call. We appreciate it. Yes, sir. Hey. I, real quick, you guys are so awesome. You you let me sing Cadence on the radio? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, over, over the time that I've been listening to you guys, I mean, my politics have changed. Uh, you guys have uh, opened, my, opened my eyes up to a new way of thinking. My wife put me onto your show. Oh, cool. Actually, uh, on our way home from work. Now we can't talk politics to each other. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, and, and, and lovely Kara. Uh, you know, Kara yeah. is awesome. Yeah, Shannon, I love her. Shelley. Yeah. Now, we have to let Kara know that there's no way she'll be successful at drinking all day if she doesn't start till she leaves work. <laughs> you can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. <laughs> all right. Hey, that's all I got, man. You guys are awesome. I'm going to enjoy every, 89, every 90 days, yeah. every show. Every last one. Thanks. Paratrooper Chris, Supper Fire, hoorah, man. It's yeah, 88 and a wake up, as we used to say in the Marines. Mm-hmm. Uh, 419. All right, hold on. Um, uh, no, somebody's been holding a long time. Uh, um, um, uh, Jake, I'm sorry, on 7, Pete, on the New Talk 1067. Gary and Brian and Tiffany and Sean and Andy. Hey, uh, Jake, welcome, man. Thanks for holding, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I just want to say I might think I'm crazy, but I, I really am going to miss the rainy day playing out. <laughs> well, maybe the only one in Atlanta. You, you may be that. the only one in Atlanta. <laughs> but well, if I get like Kara there. is, then I'm probably, you know. Well, we have, everybody else is like Kara, they'd enjoy it. Yeah. Well, thanks, man. We have we have a good team here, and we have a lot of fun, and that's, we aren't going to be any different. Now, quickly, to, almost out of time, here's Gary on 6 on the New Talk 1067. Hello, Gary. How's it going? Hey, God bless y'all, man. I just, uh, hearing all the stories, uh, it's really neat to know that there's all the brothers and sisters out there, and I think that's a big part of it. I shout out to y'all, obviously. Thanks, man. But, yeah, uh, uh, yeah hey, all y'all out there, God bless all y'all, man. Thanks, sure. Gary. Supper 5. 420, hold on. I got Brian and uh, Sean and Andy and Double Brian's on uh, the new talk with the camera. What are your weaknesses? I don't have any ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's us in our job interview. Yeah, that's, uh, well, it's, when can you start? <laughs> Have an express loop traffic check and Matt Orr. Still a bit raggedy over on the east side perimeter. Traffic report sponsored by Atlanta Motor Speedway. You're going to bunch up as you leave Spaghetti back down to Memorial Drive. The same old thing. You're getting slow on the top end eastbound as well as you try to get back over to the east wall. Westbound traffic stretching all the way back to Shambly Dunwoody. And you're not going to break free until 20 in Fulton County. Downtown Connector also getting jammed up, especially in the Southbound side as you leave the Brookwood, you'll stay pretty slow back in through I-20 and northbound turning red at University. Racing runs deep into the heart of Georgia for the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500 weekend, February 22nd through the 24th. Experience the thrills for just $49 and the kids' tickets are just 10 bucks. Visit AtlantaMotorSpeedway.com. Right now, door-to-door traffic on the new Talk 1067. Visit KTMRoofing.com, a proud sponsor of the new Talk 1067, where Atlanta comes to talk. This is Walter Brennan, <laughs> and this portion of our show is brought to you by Ludlow Port, who reminds you to call your mama, tell her to go lock herself in the garage, and start the goddamn car! I wish you all a favor! <laughs> and now, here's your host again. That's Flounder throwing me a bone. That may be one of my all-time great favorite newsmaker line we come back, we return. What do we call them? Rejoin. Uh, rejoin. <laughs> 425. I don't have to know anymore. <laughs> I have to memorize the lingo now. Oh, God. All right, anyway, hold on. It's only me. It's only the Kimmer. 425. This was the day 1972. John Lennon and Yoko Ono began a week as co hosts of the Mike Douglas TV show. 1972. A couple of quick birthdays. Opera singer Renee Fleming is 60 today. Actress Sakina Jaffe from House of Cards, 57. And uh, Enrico Colantoni from Just Shoot Me is 56. 
Oh, he's been on it. everything. Person of interest. Yeah. He was, yeah. Oh, that's right. This is that guy. He bald headed guy. Great yeah. actor. Yeah. Uh, Enrico Colantoni. Colantoni. He was in Travelers on Netflix. Really cool. good actor. Excellent. Got the tweet. Oh, uh, what's it? Oh, tweets? <laughs> Paul Joseph Watson is treated. Well, after it was announced that President Trump was to declare a national emergency, leftists are all over Twitter simultaneously claiming that Trump is a dictator <laughs> and that his declaration will immediately be tied up in courts, thereby proving he is not a dictator. <laughs> <laughs> These idiots. <laughs> Dictators don't go to court. I'm sorry. <laughs> what a bunch of nimrods. It's just hate for the sake of hate. <laughs> Oh, guy! And again, if you just joined us, Donald Trump signing the bill to keep the government open, but he also said, "I'm declaring a national emergency to pay for the rest of the wall." It's good, finally. All right, hold on. Uh, oh, here, oh, Dan's got a contrary point. I think possibly let's get him on first here on the New Talk 106.7. Hello, Dan. Welcome aboard. Hey, I just wanted to say that I hope this isn't a April Fool's Day joke. That this is the newsbreaker line has been right. For all these years, you guys are going away finally. Please tell me it's true. It's true. We are. Uh, it'll be sometime in uh, mid-May or thereabouts. We'll be off the air. They're being bought by a station by a company in California. I mean, you and Jack the Good Boy can ride off in the distance along with uh, Shelly Winter and uh, Mike Brooks. Man, I can't wait for you guys to leave. As long as Matt Dorr stays on the radio, we'll be good to go. <laughs> all right, brother. Dan. Well, there you go. A large Matt Dorr fan. Fat, drunk, and stupid is no way to go through life, so. <laughs> All right, now you're on double secret probation. Hey, we got a poem. A poem. Roses are red, violets are... This is St. Valentine's. St. Valentine's himself. Saint, himself, St. Valentine's. Roses are red, violets are blue. I was beaten with clubs, beheaded, buried under the cover of darkness, disinterred by my followers, and you commemorate my martyrdom by sending each other chocolate. <laughs> Actual St. <Saint> Valentine. <laughs> Didn't have a happy ending there for old St. Valentine. Jeez, uh, what do we got here? How about uh, Andy, I think, Pete, on three on the New Talk 106.7. Hey, Andy, welcome aboard. Man, talk about polar opposites. <laughs> Going from the content that y'all been spewing out for so long to uh, Christian radio. that are going to have to ex do an exorcism on these airways. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet that's their first week. Is they're going to have somebody from the Vatican. <laughs> It reminds me there's a there's a strip club over here in Athens that uh, closed years ago and reopened as a church. Uh, <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, the difference is the regulars were you know they were still going in there doing shots and giving ten percent of their income and uh, <laughs> looking for a, looking for a virgin named Mary. There you go. <laughs> Very funny. Although of course the uh, shots were communion wine, but that's all. Missy has a question. Missy has a question. I wonder how Kara will feel when she finds out she drunk dialed Kimmer yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> And by the way, I, okay, we had our meeting yesterday, and I uh, was uh, probably a little more boisterous than I might have <laughs> been on second thought if I if I had a second thought about it. And for the record, I don't know how they found out about this morning, but I heard somebody on Shelley's show this morning. Hangman must have called him. Uh, somebody I, I admit on social media. Oh, here the camera stormed out of the meeting. <laughs> well, for the for the record, <laughs> for the record, before the meeting was over, yes, I I stood up and I started flexing. Basically, I was just kind of getting my muscles ready in case I had to take somebody out. And I, I said, can't "Take another minute of this bullshit." <laughs> and I said. Blankus, blanking, blank. Yeah. I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> and walked out. <laughs> no. You passed me in the hallway and you said, roll a best off. <laughs> <laughs> And poor Tim, Tom, Tom Tim, yeah, Tim, Tom, our boss was say. He, he said, he, he said, did you know that I said something to you while you're leaving? I said, no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Four thirty. I hold everything. Here's uh, Brian on the bottom here, Pete on eight on New Talk one zero six seven. Brian, thanks for holding, sir. You're on the radio. Welcome, Gamer. Yeah, how's it going, buddy? Uh, we, I was doing a lot better yesterday afternoon than I am this afternoon, well, I'll tell you that. So are we, but thanks. I've been listening to you, Kimmer, for, uh, Lord, since the mid-90s. Huh, cool. Uh, when I worked on an assembly line in Atlanta, one of my buddies next to me uh, had you on the radio every day, and I got hooked all the way back then and was super glad to, to hear that you were back on the radio when I found you on this station. Yeah, well, thanks. Uh, yeah. Hey. Hate to see you go, buddy, but uh, I've got to tell you, I, uh, you know, I always kind of thought that that you and I are kindred spirits, you know, with our uh, lack of political correctness yeah. and speaking our minds. Yeah. 
and I always kind of figured one day that you would get the axe and, and maybe even take – a uh, couple of people with you, but that gum, Cameron, you took a whole. The whole pl- yeah. <laughs> Brian, good That's observation, my friend. Yeah, they, they, it took God to get rid of the Kimmer. They've been trying to get rid of me for five years, and they finally had to fire everybody to do it. Uh, 431, hold on. There's the newsbreaker line, I'm pretty sure. Let's see who's on the old newsbreaker line. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Kimmer. This is Dr. Billy Graham calling from the great beyond. Reverend Dr. Billy, it's an honor, Reverend Dr. Billy. Welcome, sir. Well, I figured if I started phoning into your show, yes. it might help you get in good with the new owners, maybe get a job with them. Wow. Well, what a nice thing for you to do, sir. That's well, we great. all know what an inspirational figure that Kimmer has been in the Christian community over the years. I mean, every time you do a rainy day playoffs, 100,000 listeners stand up and say, Jesus, please. Like <laughs> Make all those people pray at the same time. <laughs> That's right. Yes, please. Now I wanted to call because I'm really worried about you and Pete and Shannon well, Burke yeah. and Thanks, Shelley and Paul Mike Brooks, but yeah. I'm not that worried about producer Kara. Oh, really? Why is that, to Reverend Billy? Well, you know, Kara's going to fla- land on the floor somewhere. <laughs> <You know. laughs> Maybe in the corner at House Grill, she's going to land somewhere. I <laughs> got a, that. a commemorative spot marked out there where she <laughs> collapsed. At least they have a victim outline, I think. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we no, thought she was dead. Her <laughs> pretty career is over. Kara's got yeah. lots of options. I heard she might even go up to Toronto or oh, Montreal. Up to really Toronto or Montreal? Why would that be? Well, Kara saw this billboard that said, drink Canada dry. <laughs> <laughs> she took it literally that she should go up there. These are all known as These jokes. These are jokes, by right? Reverend Dr. Billy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if I got to walk the plank, you're going to have to laugh at these things. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can quit tomorrow, I promise you. No, no, you know? no, 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 no. The thing that Kara said when she got home from work today is, where's my Scott? <laughs> <laughs> not a show. She thought it was Valentine's Day. Ba- she, Valentine's Day and she wanted to know where Scott is. Ba- now you're, now you're laughing in advance. Of the I, mean, I had better timing with Hannity, for God's sake. I wonder if he's hiring, you know? I, mean, you know, I, I could buy some condemned buildings, you know? I'm not, I'm not dumb like people think. Smart, I'm smart. Page, you know? It's not like, hey, Reverend Graham, go pick somebody up at the airport. Hey, Reverend Graham, go open up a Mickey Mouse church somewhere. I was your older brother, and I was passed over. <laughs> Not the way what you wanted it. That? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Flounder's girlfriend and I just enjoyed the roses she got for Valentine's Day. Oh, she enjoyed the roses, did she? Oh, Flounder's girlfriend said that they were less filling and they tasted <laughs> <better. laughs> That joke was rough, 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 rough. rough, rough. <laughs> Well, I saw in an effort to boost sagging ratings, the Oscars going to be giving away awards like editing, cinematography, and set design during commercial breaks. During the commercials. Yeah. Yeah, They really wanted to improve the ratings. They'd also give their political views during commercial breaks. (laughs) Not that funny, but I made my point. You did, sir. (laughs) They're saying that this year's Academy Awards, Christian Bale is up for best actor, and he's the favorite to win the best actor. He's the favorite to win, yeah. And that's only because nobody filmed your boss pretending to be sorry he had to fire me. <laughs> no, wait a minute. It's Olivier's <laughs> to me. It's a day he's long for since his reign of error started. In <laughs> reign of error? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's exactly what I said. You know, I, I'll put it in writing if you want me No, to. no, it's all right. <laughs> Along with a lot of evidence, you know. No, no, please. <laughs> but hey, Michael Graham. It's always great to be on the show. Reverend Doctor, total laundry over here, sir. Very pleased you could join us today. Uh, the New Talk 106.7. 435. Hold on there. Randy, Sean, Brian, and Thomas next. And Newsbreaker Lines on the New Talk 106.7. Shannon Burke, weekdays 9 to noon. Uh-oh. Here's Betty. Hey, Betty, how are you? I'm fine, dear. I really would like to just get in front of Nancy Pelosi and say, yo, can you say the the witch word with the B on air? Yes. Go ahead. Yo, oh. bitch. You work for me. I'm your employer. Turn around and listen to what the hell I got to say, or you're fired. Woo! Get him, okay? Betty. Thank you. You're welcome, Mike. <laughs>
The new Talk 1067, where Atlanta comes to talk. 436, all your calls coming up on uh, the new Talk 1067. We actually have topics, too, but we have, seem to have uh, gotten to them, but we'll talk some more about it, though. Or the whole thing here. Okay, well, it, every day is a great day to begin losing up to 20, 40, how about 100 pounds or more with results guaranteed. And that's really important, too. For nine bucks a week, and boy, is that important, too. All services included, I'm talking about, for nine bucks a week at the Quick Weight Loss Center. Yeah, I've told you a million times, and I keep saying it, that I lost that 30 pounds almost 30 years ago. But the biggest part is it was almost 30 years ago. And now, honestly, I, I could gain 12 pounds in a week, just being stupid. Nowadays, my weight may fluctuate a couple of pounds, but that's it. The confidence I have knowing that no matter what happens to my lifestyle, I mean, I'm older than when I first started. I was retired. Now I'm back at work. My metabolism is different. My activities are different. My goals, my attitude is different. But everything I need, I get from the Quick Weight Loss Center because it's what I need. I've got to be selfish about this. I can't do the same thing some 24-year-old girl's doing in Maine. What's that got to do with me? And I'm not drinking my lunch out of a bag. I can tell you that right now. I'm an eater, man. I love to eat. And I mean food, real happy food, steaks and seafood and burgers and stuff like that, desserts, chocolate. And there's so much eating that the weight comes keeps coming. I, honestly, it's hard to believe, but it really works. You'll find out the first week. Quick weight loss costs less and offers more for 44 years now. Losing up to 100 pounds or more. Results guaranteed. No exercise gimmicks. No drinking prepackaged meals. And this week, lose weight for 9 bucks a week with all services included. Kids join free when parents sign up. Check out the conditions when you get a free consultation. Tell them the Kimber sent you. Give Quick Weight Loss five minutes and save. Here's the number, 800-404-4050. 800-404-4050. Or click on the web, qwlc.com. That's qwlc.com. From the Haviland Express Loop, traffic center still can't get right on the east or west side perimeter for that matter. Traffic report sponsored by Farmers Insurance. New crash on the west side northbound at South Cobb Drive that's holding a far left-hand lane. Southbound was already a mess leaving the top end. You're starting to get close to a 30-minute ride. 25 southbound east side, you're two or, you two are approaching that half-hour ride, and you got a crash at Shambly Tucker holding a left shoulder. From a hot air balloon landing on a car to a load of concrete falling on one, they've covered it. Talk to farmers. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. Right now, traffic. Back door on the new talk, what a six seven. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hello, my <laughs> name is Charnak the Magnificent. Magnificent. And this portion of our train wreck is brought to you by mm. the staff of the Kimmer Show and Richard Gears House Pet. The staff of the Kimmer Show, Richard Gears House Pet. Same two things that are always left in the dark. <laughs> and now here's your temporary host, Charlton Heston. No, thank you so much. New format. This apparently is Christian pop. I, let me say this once again. Yeah. Christian pop yeah. has never brought not one soul to Jesus. Yeah, what? No. Jesus brings, brings people to, to, Jesus, to Jesus, not stupid songs. Yeah. Well, whatever. This will be the new format uh, sometime after mid May. Uh, 404-741-1067. 404-741-1067. It's only me. It's only the Kimmer and the gang. Again, if you just joined us, uh, the word came out late yesterday uh, that we are we have been bought. Our radio station has been bought lock, stock, and barrel what? by a California company that does Christian pop music, and they're going to start simulcasting it. Uh, <laughs> Hold what, on. what did I say? Did I say what something bad? What the hell? Lock, stock, and barrel what? I- I'm just hearing this. I, we're bought? <laughs> we're bought? <laughs> Guys, I should have told you. I, I can't believe I never told you. Anyway, so that's what we're going to be getting. So, and, and after that, we're out of work, and so we're looking for work. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. <laughs> so we need jobs. Tonight. Bad. Uh, hold what on. Here's the hell is supposed to do, you moron? <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Ernie may have been, uh, has a little something to add here on 3, Pete, on the new Talk 106. And hey, Ernie, welcome aboard. How's it going? Great. How are you, Kim? I'm going to miss you guys. Well, thank you, sir. What's going on? Well, I hate to admit, I switched over just to listen to the news real quick. Uh-huh. And uh, your favorite buddy on another We Suck and Glover yeah. said, hey, welcome back. We're uh-huh. just like K-Love. <laughs> he said, we're just like K-Love, but with, with, uh, with really, really good talk. 
Uh, I love it. Yeah, the K love is going to be the new, uh, the new uh, call letter signs of the new station in May. Well, I'm glad you're talking about us. Maybe they'll uh, talk to themselves right out of a job because I guarantee you, if we came over there, Ernie, if, we, if I took my team over there, we would get better ratings than they have ever had ever, and I would be willing to say I'll work for free. I'll work for nothing until to prove that it's working and that you make more money than you ever have in your stinking life. I also guarantee if they ever made that announcement, half their staff would walk out. So, <laughs> would that be a bad thing? <laughs> Not for me, but it might be for them. Anyway, I, we, obviously we're, you know, I mean, and by, oh, for the record, we're, we are under contract, so I'm not, I can't negotiate with anybody right now. I mean, we, obviously we're free to try to find other jobs, but uh, we, I, I'm going to make sure we uh, abide by our contract because our company is really doing the right thing. They're abiding by the contract. They're paying us what they should be paying us, the severance and everything else, and, and they didn't have, they could have messed with us, and they uh, they didn't, and I'm, and I'm grateful and appreciative, and they're acting like real pros and, uh, uh, you know, good people. So I, I have nothing bad to say about them. You know, the ending's bad because we're leaving, but they didn't. it's not their fault. They didn't do anything. And by the way, we do have friends over there. So well, i got not, a lot of friends yeah. over there. And, yeah, but of course. But, again, you know, it's just, you know, it's, I'm a toxic personality. And so, uh, you know, I may be digging ditches before too long. Uh, hold on. Here's uh, old Bambi's with us on 5 there, Pete, on the New Talk 106.7. Sean's next, Bambi. and Jim, and uh, Thomas, and Bobby, and Sharon, and John. Wow. Hey, Bambi, how's it going, baby? Hi. I had to call my sweethearts on Valentine's Day. Well, happy Valentine's Thank Day you. to you, sweet girl. Will you be my Valentine? Well, sure. <laughs> At least over the phone, for sure. <laughs> oh, I'm glad... I'm glad y'all are getting treated fairly. And, yeah, they're being uh, good. They're, yeah, they're really. I, I'm. I'm impressed and happy. And believe me, I have nothing bad to say about any of the ways it's happening. And I'm glad. It's, I'm glad it's not because they're dissing the show or anything. Oh no, so, no, 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 no. It was just you know it's business. And again, I don't. I don't fault yeah. the company. They got. They got offered so much money. It was an offer they could not refuse. They had to take the money. I mean, they just they had yeah. to. So I understand yeah. that. Well, that's great. Well, I'm going to be at Hoax um, the next show. I hope. Oh, great. Uh, well, okay. we'll, look, we'll see you up there again, Bambi. Thanks. And by the way, the, the, uh, the February show, I forgot the date. What is it, like the 23rd, maybe? 20, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's this weekend. I think it's a week from this coming weekend at Hoax Grill. It's sold out. There are two shows in March, one at Swan Lake House on the 2nd of March. That's sold out. And the other Hoax Grill in March show is on, I think, the 16th, 16th or something, and that's sold out. I'll be there at that one. Now, there is a show on, what did it say, April, I wrote it down, or April... Uh, April 20, no, that's not right. April 6th. April 6th, there's another Newsmaker Line show at Hawks Grill in Roswell. And go to NewsmakerLine.com for tickets. That's the April 6th show is, in, is the next one that has tickets available, and that'd be at Hawks. And I'll be there for that one, too. All right, 445. All right, hold on. Here's um, uh, Thomas up in the top. in a long time. And Sean next. Thomas, welcome. You're on the radio, man. You're on the radio, man. Up today. Good. What's going on, man? What's going on, man? Well, you got to turn, turn down your radio, radio, radio down, down, please. Let's turn down your radio, and we'll try again. No, Thomas. And here's Thomas. Hey, Thomas, how you doing? You there now? There we go. <laughs> Thanks, man. Sorry about that. I'll, That's all right. Yes, sir. Um, now you just kind of touched on something as far as you being under contract, and I was just curious about the way all this is working. I mean, once you're off the air at 106.7, are you allowed to – Stay on the air in Atlanta. Well, after this new- uh, the contract. Well, well, I mean, there may, there may be some flexibility, but basically, the contract and all radio broadcast contracts basically all have the same thing, which is a no compete clause. That means for it used to be five years. In fact, the first contract I signed, I think it was a, a four or five year no compete clause, which means if you work for a radio station and then they whether they fire you, you quit or whatever, if you're gone, you cannot work in that same market for a period of time. We have a no compete clause, which which is down to six months. And the reason it's no longer five years is because courts have ruled that it was an unfair practice for people from getting a job. So if we if we get when we leave the air. Uh, theoretically, it'll be six months before we could be on the air again in this market. Now, we could do a podcast okay. or we could do uh, a TV show, for example, or something like that. But <laughs> yeah, boy, how, how much fun would that be? Oh, uh, anyway, so, but, yeah, we, we're under contract, and there's a no-compete clause. But it, it's probably going to be about six months after the last time we leave or after the contract's up. And uh, But, again, it, right. it's, uh, you know, it, it's standard, standard procedure. Okay, well, cool. I'm glad it's only six months, man. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna wish everybody over there luck. It'd be great if the whole, the whole damn team could just land somewhere else. Well, that would be and nice. Kick butt on another, yeah. Well, station we... that's just no good. And uh, I, I just, I just wish y'all best of luck, and I'm gonna miss you. Thanks, Thomas. I appreciate. it. Hopefully, we'll be around, even if it's a podcast. We were, we're thinking about trying to put one of those together. He sounded like Hank Hill's brother. 
Uh, you know, you don't know. <laughs> yeah, you could be right. Uh, Sean, let's get on th- uh, four, Pete, on the new talk, one of the former talk out of there. Hey, Sean, welcome, man. Thanks for holding. What's up? Oh, I just wanted to let you guys know, you know, the news sucks, and and uh, you guys have been a part of my life, uh, listening to you guys after work, making me laugh and smile all the way home. Anyway, uh, uh, I needed to thank you. Um, you sent my wife and I to New York City to see the Braves play in old Yankee Stadium. Oh, man. When, when was that? What year was that? That was about a decade ago. Yeah, I was going to say, but, like, uh, 2005 well, maybe or six or six. Two four two thousand four yeah. maybe yeah. wow yeah uh, you guys uh, want to uh, let you know I made you proud my wife and I got kicked out of Yankee Stadium <laughs> what'd so, you do <laughs> uh, we can talk about it some other time being a southerner you're just being a rebel Yankee that's what you were doing <laughs> we had our brave stuff on and we were proud and we uh we got to go down to Ground Zero Liberty Island oh great you know, Times Square and do the whole nine yards and you guys made it possible. And I've never forgotten you guys about that, and you guys well, will be missed. Well, and thanks. I hope I can find you somewhere someday. Thanks, Sean. We appreciate it. I'm sure that'll in one way or another happen. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. 450, uh, 449. 449. Uh, let's see. Sharon on the bottom there, Pete. The Flying Brian and John and Bobby and Jim. Uh, hey, Sharon, you're on the radio. How's it going? Oh, I'm just heartbroken. Well. Some days you guys are the only thing that make me laugh. And well. I'm just sick, just like everybody else. And. I, I think it's just because y'all are so good at what you do that it took a <laughs> California company wanting to shut you up. Yeah. Well, the re, you know, the, the problem, the good problem was that we were actually so successful at showing that talk radio would work in this town on this radio station that we actually have a great audience and our signal is fantastic. So this company said, man, we'll take their audience and their signal and here's all the money you want. And that's it was just business. And, uh, you know, I can't complain about that. You know, that's what makes the world go around. So. But it's well, sad. We hate. I mean, believe me, I'm. I, I'm. I, I'm not scared. Marines don't get scared. But I'm. Uh, ner- I'm very anxious about trying to take care of my responsibilities now. I can promise you. So it's. Mm-hmm. It's going to get hairy. Whoop, what was that? She leaving? Oh, you're All right, five four fifty. All right, hold on. We got your calls coming up. News break lines to four fifty. I may sound like a Bible beater <laughs> yelling up a revival at the river crossing camp meeting. <laughs> well, what are you doing three to six? Uh, have an express through traffic. Mad door. Taking a look at the north side. Big three. And actually, not too bad right now. Now, traffic board sponsored by Subway. We'll go left to right. 75 northbound, punching up a little bit in Marietta, but all in all, decent ride back out to Kennesaw. 575, having a little trouble as you leave that 75 split, but the closer you get to Woodstock, the faster you're going to be going. Forward to northbound's rough inside the perimeter, out to around Dunwoody, then things open back up, but you're back down to third gear from Alpharetta back up to Cumming, and 85, pretty once again, pretty heavy inside the perimeter, but once you clear Beaver Ruin, doing pretty good out to 316, but a little bit of red awaits you as you approach Lawrenceville Swanee. Make today simple with the simple six menu at Subway. Choose from one of six delicious six-inch subs like the spicy Italian or Black Forest ham plus chips and a 21-ounce drink all for just $6. Every day simple and only at Subway. Right now, door-to-door traffic on the new Talk 1067. From the KTMRoofing.com studios, WYAY Gainesville, a cumulus station where Atlanta comes to talk. The new Talk 1067. Kimmer. Yeah, baby. You're not a slut. No, I... You're more like a penny. <laughs> Two-faced, worthless, and in everyone's pants. It's the Kimmer <laughs> Show on the new talk, 106.7. Well, not everyone says that. 456. Lines are jammed to get all your calls. I promise I'll do better. 456 with a Kimmer on the former talk, 106.7. Yeah. Like a good man. Aretha Franklin, on this very day in 1967, was recording on Valentine's Day her cover of Otis Redding's song, Respect, which we're playing for you here now. <laughs> or not. I No, no, Founder puts what he wants. Uh, we, can, we don't have to. <laughs> we just played that one the other day. So. Aretha, that's fine, that's fine. We're just teasing you. Uh, actress Danal Guria, or Danai, I guess it is, Danai Guria Guerrera from Black Panther is 41 today. Simon Pegg from 2009 Star Trek and a Billion Things is 49. Funny guy. Funny guy. And uh, Valente Rodriguez from George Lopez and Aaron Brockovich is 55 today. Uh, 457, two of the phones, 404. Uh, there you go. Hey, Aretha. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 404. 741 1067. Kara just called back. Oh, Kara's back. Yeah, I'm drunk. <laughs> uh, here's uh, Jim on 2 Pete on the New Talk 1067. Jim, thanks for holding so long. I appreciate it. Welcome aboard. 
Oh, my pleasure. It was worth it. Uh, Kimmer. Yeah. I'm the one with uh, Make Radio Great Again. Oh, yeah, those hats. We love those, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> you should put that uh, on for your new radio station call sign, MRGA. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> if we get a job, we'll do it. <laughs> well, you know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of ways to go, like you said, on podcasts. I've seen True News. I've seen um, Pete Santilli. There's a lot of ways for you guys to get together and band together and and start your own thing. I think you'd do well, and I think you would get a lot of advertisers. Well, you know, it would I work really well. At this point, we're still kind of in a state of shock, really, and, and don't know what to do, and yeah. don't know who to call, and don't know how to begin. And we, we the nice thing would be, of course, uh, is to have another radio station. Just say, okay, we want your show on our station, and so let's start. You know, when you can. Uh, but that would take uh, a lot of courage from radio stations in in the town. The 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 the, the media, the, well, radio has changed so much in the last ten or fifteen years, and and now radio is a dying a dying medium. It's a dying business. Uh, there guys are not starting in radio today will not be in radio as long as I have. It just it won't be a, it won't be in existence in any way. So we're doing the best we yeah. can, but we don't even know where to go, what to do, because their media now is such a whole different hodgepodge. We don't know what's even available to us. That's that's true, Kimmer. Get one of the millennials to tap you into the yeah, social right? media. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're absolutely right. <laughs> Network. And one, one one real quick thing. Yeah. I, uh, I had been uh, this national emergency. I had sent a Twitter out to and had mentioned. I, I guess it was a fake account at Andrew McCabe FBI. I said arrest him. Uh, charging with treason and sedition, and hold military tribunals under tribunal. Try, can't pronounce it right. Yeah, tribunals under the, uh, <laughs> against Donald under Trump. The, uh, national emergency. Yeah, yeah. yeah geez, you know these people. You know it's amazing, and they're going to try to fight it. I wish you'd done it two years ago, but he he announced today he's signing the bill, and he's also going to declare a national emergency, and he'll win in court. But they're going to drag it out. But at least he's doing the right thing, and I salute him and support him, and uh, maybe we'll shut these Democrats up. Hopefully. Well, I think that's why Adam Schiff went over to Fusion GPS because they realized that this was going nowhere. Yeah. And I think that, uh, you, you know, it was said on True News, and it makes sense that uh, the populist who voted for Trump and voted for Brexit, um, the globalist and the deep state period, get into all that stuff. Yeah. But uh, they're running scared, and they're, they're uh, thing right through the. 2020 election now will be resist. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Resist, resist, yep. resist. And yep. that's all they got left. Yeah, you're right. Jim Semper Fi, man. Five o'clock here on the New Talk 107. Hey, 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 hey. Let's get it together, ladies. Left shoulder, right of blind. Ready on your dog, Target. Oh, man. A lot of the things we're going to miss. 501 on the New Talk 1067. It's only us. It's only the Kimmer crew on uh, the formerly New Talk 1067, The Spew. 404 741 1067 1067. Newsmaker lines coming up. Uh, let's see, Pete. How about uh, we have T I believe, on three there? I believe is hanging longest. Hello, T. Welcome aboard. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, I, I knew something was. I knew something was going to happen when they changed the phone number, man. Yeah, I knew something was up then. <laughs> that's but, uh, yeah, that's true. That was a good. That was a I'm sign. Gonna, I'm going to miss. No more Southern fried conservatism. What is what is the black man supposed to do, bro? <laughs> Can I protest? Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, yeah, join, you? <laughs> yeah, join join us in the same protest. Well, yeah, anyway, yeah, I don't know. I, you got to do me one favor. Sure. I got to hear my Stacey Abrams Rick House song at least, man, every day. Let's oh, you, you know, we'll let's uh, we'll find that. In fact, Flounder's going to try to find it right now. <laughs> Stinky big right, fat man, loser Abraham. <laughs> thanks. Thank hey, thanks, T. Bye-bye. I appreciate it. Thanks, man. Five hundred two. We'll, if, we'll find we'll find it for you. We get on in the in the next half hour here, sometime between now and five thirty ish. All right, hold on. Now let's see. Uh, John on six. Pete, I think the longest on the new talk one zero six seven. John, welcome. How you doing? The former talk. Well, yes. uh, Cameron, this is actually good news because I remember the last time when you were canned 
there was a total blackout, and I thought you had died. So <laughs> at least we know you're still alive. I just feel like dying, but I'm. <laughs> no. you're, you're actually you're going you're going out on top, not on bottom. Yeah. And uh, you know you can you know, your options are going to be open. There is a radio station, I believe, in Avondale. Why don't you pursue that one? Okay. Well, again, I, I think there's a place in Gainesville. I mean, they're all over the, around the area. But again, you know, the small a small market radio station is not going to be able to afford a staff of three coming over there, even though they could jack up their advertising rates and still make money. But uh, you know, a general manager has to have the balls to be able to pull the trigger and tell his stockholders or his family or whoever owns the business to say, "We're going to do this, and we think it's going to work, but it's risky." So, I mean, someone's right. going to have to pull the trigger, and I, I don't know who's got the, uh, right. the you know, stones. But, but they, they can't hide you. I like to never have found you when you came back this time. So. Yeah, they tried. <laughs> we we no. burrowed okay. through. John, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Separate five. Bobby, right below him near Pete on the new talk with the camera. Hello, Bobby. You're on the radio. Hey, Cameron, a long-time caller, first-time listener. Well, thank you. I hate, to hear that you're, uh, <laughs> I hate to hear that you're going. It's a real shame. I've been listening to you for uh, quite some time. I really enjoy your show. Well, thanks. It'll be sometime mid-May or a little bit later than that. We're not sure yet. Well, the FCC's got to get all the T's crossed and everything, but sometime uh, in, in May or late May. So we'll sure. see. Sure. There's uh, good news with the national emergency. You can start a pirate radio station with an antenna of no more than 12 feet. You can <laughs> double it up and uh, fold it over and cut it in half if the FCC ever comes through. There you go. And, uh, <laughs> it's completely legal to do that. Uh, excellent. The it's only problem, of course, trying to, uh, trying to make money off it might be an issue. But uh, but the yeah, pirate radio, I'll go with pirate radio. Uh, we, we can we might do a podcast. I mean, we, we, there's, we yeah. have to. We don't know how to set it up. I don't. I've never seen one. I've never been part of a podcast. I don't have any idea how you do it's it. It's a box. You like Netflix? You just, I just purchase need it. The, we should go to Best Buy and get the podcast box. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually what it's called. I'm going to go box. in this weekend and ask for the podcast box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my buddies and I want to put together a podcast. You got one of those boxes? over there that they're telling me about. Uh, 505 on the New Talk 1067. Uh, let's see. Sandy on 4. Pete on the New Talk 1067 with a Kimmer and the gang. Hello, Sandy. How you doing? Hi, I'm doing great. I just want to say thank you for all what you do, and you are one magnificent, unique broadcasting voice, but what I like about you is also your laughter, because when you laugh, it just makes you want to laugh. It makes you feel good, but you are so good, and I'm sure that everyone's going to really miss you. And I just mm. want to say God bless you, and I wish you well. Thank you, Sandy. That's very sweet. We appreciate it. We are, we're getting uh, more accolades than we deserve, I can promise you. But we're, uh, believe me, we're grateful. 505 Newsmaker Line coming up here in a second. Uh, let's see. Here's a Flying Brian on 5, Pete, on the new talk with the camera. Hello, Flying Brian. How's it going? Kimmer, yeah. first is Spanish sports talk radio, and now Christian radio. What's next? Al Jazeera TV? Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. Brother, man, I've been talking to you since the early 90s, yeah. and I've always I got two things today for you. The second one's going to be difficult, so I'll try to get through it. But first off, I have always thanked you. As a professional driver, you have made life much better for all of us professionals and non-professionals trying to navigate this maze in Atlanta. Well, thanks, And man. if we never hear you again, what you've already done for us is, is so valuable and will never be forgotten. Cool. And I've got to get a recording of you doing the cadence because I can't hear – Credence Clearwater Revival song without thinking of you doing the cadence. So I'm going to make a recording of it just to keep for myself. Uh, you know, in fact, this is, I, I've, I've mentioned it before, it's been a long time ago, but I, there, I've, I've been places, where, I've been in movie theaters you know, just years ago where before the movie starts, they play songs. And when the Creedence Clearwater Revival came on, people were going herp, 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 like that. And, and I swear, oh, I'm, not, awesome. I'm not making this up. My, my final wife and I were in, it was either, it was either Puerto Rico or Costa Rica. And uh, we're on the beach, and uh, people had transistor radios, and I swear to God, this was in a foreign country, and uh, I, the song came on down the about 50 yards down the beach of the of CCR, and somebody started going, herp, 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 oh I swear God. to God, that in a foreign amazing. country. I thought, oh, man. <laughs> That's amazing. That is totally awesome. Uh, that was fun. Well, yeah, to, uh, to get to the hard thing to talk about, but, hey, life's hard sometimes. I recently called you and thanked you for speaking up and speaking out about your daughter's addiction issues and yeah. other family members. And I told you I, I have had that, and it, it's my son. Yeah. And he, um, this is hard, he's, um, he's been addicted to meth for a year. 
Wow. And um, he's recently lost his job. He's been homeless for a few months. And he came to my house Sunday and asked for help. Well, and he did the right thing then. I mean, it's it, it's a it's a tough way to go, and it's a it's a terrible thing in this country. Yeah. Um, we we can't find a bed right now in a facility for someone without insurance and indigent. Yeah. But we have got him into an outpatient program, and and we're getting the ball rolling. And and you know, he asked for help. He's never asked for help. That's a great sign. Uh, Believe me, when my daughter Jennifer had to hit rock bottom two or three times, and finally it was the real rock bottom, and she's been clean now for 15 years. So it can, well, it can I hope, happen. I, I hope it sticks. We've been down this road with alcohol for over a decade. Yeah. but Addictions are tough, man, brutal. Well, they all, everybody worse, relapses. But... It's, it, every, everybody relapses at, at least once or 50 times, but at some point it'll happen and if you if you can just hang in there and not give up in the meantime uh then good things will happen to you we'll we'll, we'll say a prayer for you Brian and i know it's a hard story uh, but thanks for sharing it and and uh, we, we encourage you to uh, keep going don't give up yet i appreciate you so much and and you've given me strength and and you've always made me laugh brother and i'll never forget you for it semper fi man take care thanks Brian Brian uh, 509 and uh, hold on Derek and paratrooper and Tom and Alex and Pete's next, and at 5.09, we will have an express loop traffic check and Matt Orr. And top end continues to be rough in both directions, Kimmer. Traffic report sponsored by Russell Stover. Eastbound red starting back around Roswell Road. Actually, a little bit behind that. We'll call it Riverside. And westbound traffic's bunching up at Shambly Dunwoody Road. You'll stay slow down both the east and west side perimeters. No big surprise there. 85 continues to crunch down as you try to get out of downtown. You've got some red right around Buford Highway and pretty much on and off the brakes back up through Spaghetti Junction. Trying to yank a stall at Jimmy Carter Boulevard. Once you get by that, starting to pick up a little bit of speed towards 316, but then it's back to the Great Crunch approaching the Sugarloaf Mills exit, and you'll stay slow from there back out to 985. Russell Stover is here to remind you that Valentine's Day is today. It's time to pick up that Russell Stover heart-shaped box full of chocolates for your Valentine. Don't forget, go now. Russell Stover, make happy. Right now, traffic. Matt Dorr on the New Talk 1067. Giving you $1,000 to blow on a winter vacation. Or pay off some bills. But personally, I go for the winter vacation. Much cooler, and you get some pictures. Your chance at 9 a.m., noon, 3 p.m., and 6 p.m. 4K a day on the new Talk 106.7. Nah, look out, 510. Hello. <laughs> Everything's fine. Uh, no, they do, they do. Formerly Talk 106.7. All right, how you, how you doing? I hope you're doing okay. How's your heart? Have you checked your heart lately? Well, yeah, it's hard to check your own heart. But I know who can check your heart for you the same way they checked mine. In fact, they checked the whole inside of the old Kimmer. Don't want to gross you out, but uh, it's called Virtual Imaging. This is the company. Man, you're going to love this place. You know, they check your heart. They check your arteries, all the things that can go wrong, like uh, my two blocked arteries that caused my heart attack. I would have found out those two blocked arteries were in there and done something about them before I had the heart attack if I had gone to Virtual Imaging five and a half years ago. Well, in fact, I'm, I'm tell you how in a second to get you a free heart scan. I also had the full body scan, and these uh, the, the scanners are called EBCT scanners. They're not the same things at the hospital. These babies are so high tech and so new and so low dose that you can have scans done several times a year. So you're really covering to see what's going on inside that you can take care of before you have an emergency trip to the ER, for example. These scanners also point out more than 40 types of cancer. Had that too, by the way. And if you hate the word colonoscopy, virtual imaging has virtual colonography. It's about a zillionth the invasive procedure you dread. No anesthetic, for example. What does that tell you? Drive there a couple minutes later, boom, bomb, you're off to do whatever you want. Okay, free heart scan. This is not a gimmick. It's real. There are some minor requirements, obviously, but this is a real free heart scan. Just call and tell them the Kimmer sent you. Here's a number. 770-730-0119. 770-730-0119. On the web, virtualimagingatl.com. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> Did you know Did you that? Kimmer has the world's <laughs> largest collection of seashells? <laughs> largest he collection. keeps it scattered on beaches all over the world. <laughs> Thank you. It's the Kimmer Show on the new talk, 106. By the way, we have the new uh, Stinky Brick House song coming up in a few minutes by request. But first, a couple of sports birthdays. Pro Football Hall of Famer Jim Kelly, 59 today. And former NFL quarterback Drew Bledsoe is 47. And now, sponsored by Majestic Plumbing Electric. Hey, they fixed the Kimmer's house. Holy crap, it's sports with Pete Davis. 
America's assistant coach, Todd Grantham, <laughs> has turned down an offer to be the Bengals defensive coordinator in the NFL. He will stay as the D.C. with the Gators in the SEC. Who mm. wants to stay in the better league? Yeah, sure. Todd has been an assistant at Florida, Mississippi State, Georgia, and the Cleveland Browns. Oh. Padres reliever Brad Week or Wyke, yeah. don't know exactly, hopes to be ready for the regular season despite undergoing cancer surgery on his testicle. <laughs> oh. Expected to be okay, though. Wow. I had a scare of that once. They found a, a in, in a physical, and he felt a thing, and he pushed it and went, ah! Uh, yeah. And he said, uh-oh. And I said, the doctor says, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, he put, and honestly, they put me into surgery like six hours later and said, we think it's cancer. It turned out it was fine. It was, it was just a node. Wow. But he said, he said because his partner had the same thing, and it was cancer. His partner? His partner had a node and a thing. <laughs> anyway, so but it was like uh, just a few hours later, said, you're going in right now, and, and everything turned out to be fine. But anyway, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, my partner. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Former Yellow Jacket Matt Kuchar is catching heat on social media oh. for how much he tipped his caddy after winning the Mayakoba Classic last oh, November. Oh, no. not he stiff him? Matt what? paid David Ortiz $5,000. Well, what do you win? A million? One point two million. Oh no, no! You give ten percent of the pot. Well, some say it's too small, but Cooch isn't backing down, saying the original negotiation was for three thousand. But he gave him a bonus of four thousand. Then he added another thousand on top of that. No, and that's wanted, wrong. He wanted to give him fifteen thousand, and for some reason, the caddy turned that down. No, no, no. That that's not right. Matt I'm says sorry. he's not going to lose any sleep over this. Well, I mean, fine, but it, that's. I promise you, 10%. if you win, if you win a tournament, it's ten percent of the caddy. If you make the cut, it's like three to five percent or whatever you pay. Now, sometimes they pay him four hundred bucks a week and five percent of what they win or whatever. But I guarantee you, if you win, it's ten percent goes to the caddy. Hmm. That should have been a hundred grand plus. Hmm. Former Cowboys running back Joseph Randall on trial. He allegedly raped a woman last year. Ooh. During a preliminary hearing Tuesday in Dallas, the 27-year-old Randall protested his innocence by loudly yelling in court, She never said no, so how am I supposed to know? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yowie. Oh, <laughs> uh, Your Honor, we're ready to render our decision. <laughs> your Honor. <laughs> Would the defendant please rise? <laughs> well, that was quick. Can I have a moment to confer with my, second trial. my uh, client? <laughs> my idiot. Uh, <laughs> Japan's Olympic minister apologized after he expressed concern about their best female swimmer, 18-year-old Rakako Aiki. Oh. She has leukemia. Oh, God. Yoshitaka Sakadrata. Uh, Seemed to indicate her cancer could take away her focus on winning. <laughs> Sakurata has issued an apology. <laughs> well, it's inserting a long blade into his stomach oh, and going and ripping to the side. Uh, Brown's owner Jimmy Haslam has handled ESPN trashing his organization in a report like a man. Yeah. Or, or. <laughs> Haslam has pulled all advertising from ESPN for his Pilot Flying J Truck Stop Company. Mm. This includes a four-year deal that made it the official travel center of the Southeastern Conference and endorsements for Paul Feinbaum and Laura Rutledge. Now, I assume it's because ESPN was blasting him for hiring the uh, guy who beat up the girl. A the bunch of back. things. Yeah, they went all over Kamara, the Kamara, whatever it yeah. is. Kamara, what the hell is the name? I don't remember. Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris. Uh, this just in, <laughs> a pack of schnauzers are rioting outside Madison Square Garden following their defeat at the Westminster Dog Show. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> they always pick those stupid terriers. <laughs> oh, my God, they're everywhere. They're t- throwing over cop cars. We go live to the scene. <laughs> <laughs> uh, former Red Sox starter Daisuke Matsuzaka, yeah. known for, it's Japanese day. Japanese here, day. Uh, known for his bogus gyro ball, yeah. was named the comeback player of the year in the Japanese league last season, pitching for the Chunichi Dragons. Ah. Dice K once threw 250 pitches over 17 innings in high school. Wow. One day after throwing a 148-pitch complete game shutout. Holy moly. But now he's 38 years old. And his arm is he sore. Can't again. lift his arm. <laughs> well, you know can't why? Write his name because he was at spring training in Okinawa. They went had a fan event, and a fan grabbed his arm and pulled it. Oh, and that messed him up. Yeah. Oh God. Oh. Yep. Charles Barkley has a man crush, oh. or you could say a goat crush. Mm. Sir Charles ran into Patriots quarterback Tom Brady here during the Super Bowl week. Looked into his right. eyes, never mm. a good thing, mm. and told him, "Damn, you're a pretty man." Oh boy. Barkley became so embarrassed he had to look away while talking to Tom. Oh, jeez. 
And speaking of Brady, a few days ago I told you about his wife, Giselle Bunchen, no. making him chant mantras before a shrine and making him wear special necklaces and holding special yeah. healing stones. Yeah, she ties him up, I guarantee. Yeah. Well, this has caught the attention of True News host Rick Wiles, a Christian talk show host. Oh, boy. It's also Christian Day here. Christian Day, sure. Rick believes Tom Brady's soul is forever doomed. Because his wife is a witch. Uh, could be. Rick told WEEI in Boston, it's obvious Tom Brady has no spiritual discernment at all. It's obvious that he's spiritually lost. He's being led through life by a witch. He thinks it's cute. Rick Wiles, no relation to our own Randy Wiles. Oh, no. Chief pickup artist at yes, uh, Pizza. Strange women at pizza joints. <laughs> Went on to say Giselle weighs the same as a duck. As <laughs> a duck? Well, that's how you prove that she's a witch. Oh, that's right. See if she, she sings. See if she floats. If she floats, she's a duck. She sings, she's... If she sings, she's, she's okay. Yeah. She'll be dead, but she won't be a witch. <laughs> <laughs> and Rick has this bit of advice for Tom Brady. Murder, Murder! I got better. And students at a British university are outraged, I say. Outraged. After photos emerged of the school's dodgeball team, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. A wrench. Wearing shirts with anti-Semitic messages. Oh, please. Coventry University's dodgeball team has been suspended after the pick surfaced yesterday. The pictures feature at least two male teammates wearing white T-shirts with swastikas drawn on them. Oh, for God's And phrases sakes. such as, Judas is a sellout, and the Jews deserved it. Th- this is where, England? Coventry, England. What is the matter with these people? I have no they, they should hit them in the face, take off their shirts, burn it in front of them, and say, don't come back. Well, this is a country that's, it's a, just nonsense. that's turning itself over to the Muslims. So why not hit <sighs> the Jews at the same time? Yeah, that's their motto, I think. Uh, 521. Thanks, Pete. Hold on. Our lines are jammed. I get all your calls, I promise. And we'll get that song in Newsmaker Lines on the New Talk 106.7 with Heaven Express Loop Traffic and Matt Orr. we got a big structure fire over on the east side. It's going to start affecting 285. Southbound. It's right there at Memorial Drive and Covington Highway. Lots of fire departments over there. Lots of fire engines, I mean, and it's shutting down those intersections, so please avoid, if at all possible. 285 Southbound, still managing just under a half hour ride, trying to get down the east wall and back into uh, the I 20 interchange. I 20 outbound, trying to head for Conyers. You got a little bit of red out to Panola Road, but it's not as bad. 20 outbound headed for Douglasville, still a bit sticky out to Fulton Industrial Boulevard. And 75 Southbound, you're continuing to bunch up right there at the bottom of the perimeter. You'll grab some more red right around Hudson Bridge Road. Russell Stover is here to remind you that Valentine's Day is today. It's time to pick up that Russell Stover heart-shaped box full of chocolates for your Valentine. Don't forget, go now. Russell Stover, make happy. Right now, traffic. Matt Dorr on the new Talk 1067. This hour of The Kimmer Show brought to you by Mark Spain Real Estate. Get a guaranteed offer on your home today. Visit KTMRoofing.com, a proud sponsor of the new Talk 1067, where Atlanta comes to talk. This is Steve March, <laughs> and this portion of The Kim Peterson Show <laughs> yes. is brought to you by Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese. Table for two, Mr. Southside. <laughs> <laughs> and now, here's your host, The Kimmer. I right, hold everything. It's only me. It's only the Kimmer on the former Talk 106.7. Hit the road, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mid-May. No more, no more, no and it's over. But yeah, we'll see what we can land on our feet somewhere. And, and again, uh, a thank you to this. Uh, we, we pick on this company all the time because we're I'm just a, an a-hole, but, uh, basically. But uh, but they really, uh, they've really gone over backwards to treat us with uh, respect and decency. And uh, I can't thank them enough. They could have made this real miserable for us, but they're, uh, they're doing the right thing. And I uh, thank you guys. I really I appreciate it. Uh, very, I'm serious, but especially with the I feel responsible for my team here, too, so at least we're taken care of in a, in a good way, so that's good. Uh, 527, hold on now. Uh, hold on there. Uh, uh, geez, Derek and Doug and Dane and uh, Tom and Paratrooper. Uh, Catherine's up first on 5, Pete, on the New Talk 1067. Hi, Catherine. How's it going? Hey, it's going great, Kimmer. Listen, sorry to hear about everything. Um, my husband listens to you. My husband's in Ralph, and he's in the car with me now. Oh, excellent. He listens to you every day. And uh, so I get home today, and he goes, happy Valentine's, and thank you for always being there for me. So I looked at him, and I said, oh, I know why you're saying that, because the Kimmer's going off the air. <laughs> <laughs> and also, by the way, yeah. um, I, we saw Janice Ian. Oh, you at did? At the Great Southeast Music Hall in 1977. Wow, I mentioned it was 77. Uh, she had the album uh, only at 17, and it was a sad song about I mean, no one ever liked her because she didn't look very pretty and had a bad complexion and stuff. And I, it was a very yeah. troubling song, a huge hit for her, though, in 77. Well, yeah. we, we know why she didn't get any Valentines or any first kisses, because we weren't there very long. We listened to that song, and then we left. Yeah. <laughs> we went there for the beer. 
There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, give your hubby a hug and happy Valentine's Day, uh, Catherine. I really appreciate it. You're not going to believe what Nancy Pelosi is doing to respond to the national emergency. Okay, declaration. again, Donald Trump is signing the bill, but he also is declaring a national emergency to build the rest of the wall. The Democrats are threatening to sue, and, and of course, they're calling it a conspiracy, like a dictator. Even though we had the text earlier, the guy said, "Well, how can it be a dictator if they're going to take it to court? Dictators don't go to court, proving that Trump is not a dictator." What's Pelosi doing? She issues a warning to Republicans saying the, to declare a national emergency on the southern border that the next Democratic president will probably do the same thing on our guns. Well, good. You know, good. Good, 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 good. I hope so. In fact, there's a committee in Congress right now in the House, which is owned, uh, run by Democrats now. They've already taken up a new gun control measure to make sure that we no longer can just go buy a gun. They're going to make it very much more difficult to try to buy a gun if they get their way. Now, it'll never pass the Senate, but they're already starting. They've been, been in, in, in back in office, what, oh, two weeks? And you, they're already starting. You know how easy it is to make a gun? You yeah. know how many homemade guns will start being made? Well, uh, not only that, but if they if they do a thing to try to get our guns, I'll die in a gunfight. Yeah. Come I will I will die in a gunfight because I'm going to say you come and take them. <laughs> try Just give, give it your best shot. And I will die in a gunfight. That's how serious this is. 529. I'm not just being provocative. I mean it. I absolutely mean it. 529. Uh, hold on. Jeez, I got a billion calls. Down in the bottom, there's a Derek's been holding a very long time. Derek, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and welcome finally aboard, sir. How you doing? Good, Cameron. I tell you, I was all right Monday and Tuesday and 30 minutes on Wednesday, but today I'm in rough shape. You kidding me? <laughs> well, yeah, we're all out of here mid-May or there. Hey, I, I, I got an idea where you guys can go. All hey, right. Chattanooga. And you can kick Brian Joyce off the radio for a second. <laughs> Seriously, though, guys, good luck to all of you. Wherever you end up, I'll listen. Y'all are great Americans. Thanks. Thank Thanks, Derek. Separate five, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and again, it's not, it's just business. If you just joined us, it, it, it was an easy decision for the company. They got offered a billion dollar, I mean, uh, way too much money uh, to buy this radio station by a company in California that's going to put on uh, Christian pop music uh, after sometime after mid May. And and the company couldn't couldn't turn it was a, a offer they couldn't refuse. It was millions and millions of dollars, and they said take it. And the only reason they wanted this signal, this is the only station in, a, in our Atlanta cluster that been sold. Uh, four or five other stations in Cumulus around the country were sold to the same group. But we're the only one that was making any money. All the other Cumulus stations were losers. And we're the only station that got turned sold that was making money and turned to profit was us. And the reason was we have a great signal and we have a great lineup. And uh, and it was successful, but that doesn't matter. The more successful it was, the more they wanted it. So, I mean, it's just business. We don't. I don't have a problem with that. It's just... You know, it's the life I chose. I didn't ask who made the order. 531. Uh, hold on, hold on. Jeez, uh, 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 it's at uh, Tom on 2, Pete, on the New Talk 1067. Hey, Tom, how's it going? Hey, Kim, a long time listener since We Suck and Blither. Oh, thanks, uh, man. Uh, yes, sir. This old sailor's going to miss you. I'm sorry, once again, I missed that. This old sailor's going to miss you. Man. Oh, this old sailor, um, hey, Swabby. Yes, sir. Ship ahoy, man. <laughs> yeah, but they say humor is the best medicine, man. That's what I'm going to be sitting there every day at 3 o'clock and start drinking because I can't laugh anymore. <laughs> well, we're going to, I mean, honestly, I hope we can find a job somewhere to stay here in Atlanta because we really, I mean, we have such a, yeah, I have such a great team here. I mean, these people are so, you know, I mean, they took a chance with me. Uh, to come back to work, coming out of retirement or doing something else, and he took a chance to be with me, and uh, I can't thank him enough. And this is this is the best team I've ever worked with. Uh, as much fun as you can have doing something with your clothes on, and uh, so we're we're sure going to miss. Hope that we can stay here. Some some stations going to have to come up with some money, but it doesn't look good. But uh, we're we're definitely going to try to stick around. Great, I got two favors to ask of you. Sure. Uh, at least one time, uh, could you just do at least flush the lines one time? Well, maybe we try. Before we go, we will. Before we go, we definitely will uh, do a flush of lines one, one afternoon. We'll set it up well in advance so everybody gets ready. Yeah, absolutely we will. Yes. And Beth, I'd love to hear uh, three hours with Jim Gossett in the, short, in the store with you guys. <laughs> well, uh, you know. <laughs> that would. Uh, that would that <laughs> well, believe me. Thanks, Tom. Uh, believe me, he's he's the best. I mean, he's just he's the best. I, I, you could, we could, I could tell him just do three hours. I mean, really. Just go to one character to the next. We'll do some commercial breaks. Come back to somebody else. He actually did it one time on our own station. Uh, came on as Ronald Reagan, and they thought it was Ronald Reagan. They thought the president was in Atlanta on my radio station. <laughs> Five thirty-three. How about a quick? Should we do a newsbreak line? Be a hair late for traffic? Is that all right? Uh, good afternoon. 
Good afternoon, Mr. Uh, Timmer. Oh, this is Pope Francis. Uh, uh, Pope Wonderfulness, you know, how you doing? <laughs> you haven't heard my prayers. <laughs> well, you know, God doesn't pick up young guys who will support Planned Parenthood and rewrite the uh, Bible on the first ring. Okay? The first ring. I, don't have that I should have called back. My fault. I don't have that much pull. I, I did say this prayer over and over again. Yes, which one? Hail Mary, full of grace. Mm-hmm. Why couldn't they put us in 99 X's place? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'd like to help you. Yeah, right. Yeah, sure. We <laughs> Mr. Kim, I yes. don't want to sound like a, a backstabbing opportunist, no, but no. I, oh. I have to confess that I did put in a call to the new owners. Oh, you did? Oh, well, Christian people, yeah. Well, there wasn't any interest. They said they were looking for people that were well versed in Christianity. <laughs> <laughs> You know, people who preach the scriptures instead of freewheeling the New Testament and he was writing the Lord's Prayer on his own without running it by God first. So they were really interested in the Pope contributing to their new format. So, I know it's a very sad day at the old talk, formerly talk, Yes, yes. No wonder they wouldn't spring for forty dollars for a decal for the station <laughs> <laughs> He must have known something. Yeah, yeah. We just we just found out about this at this afternoon. Yeah, right. yeah. Hey, it just happened just now. Right. What a surprise! They sold out from under us. We wanted to keep you on. <laughs> No, I know it's a sad day. It's yeah. no longer talk 106.7. <laughs> you have to be appreciative of the fact yes. that since 2013, Yo. management did everything in their power to make this station work. Oh, wait. <laughs> they never did a thing. They never. Oh, wait. <laughs> Zero promotion, never lifted a finger, and we tied Limbaugh and beat Hannity. But, you know, I got you. <laughs> Yeah, only openly undermine the whole show. I <laughs> Die, no big deal. <laughs> no wonder my first reaction to the news was overwhelming joy and relief. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us have money in the bank. <laughs> finally, laugh, laugh. Thank God. <laughs> finally get on me to life. <laughs> Some of us have paid for real estate that don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that so boat, all right. I don't want to make light of your situation, but I do have problems of my own. You have problems of your own, sir? I think maybe you mentioned it yesterday. No book claims that 80% of the priests in the Vatican are gay. A gay priests, yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of them, yeah. It's even higher percentage than Cox Broadcasting Executives, Midtown Waiters, or Air American Airline male flight attendants. It's a real problem. Brit, <laughs> sir! <laughs> Oh, I forgot. Those Cox Broadcasting executives are great guys. I love them all. Well, they're wonderful sorry. people. Personally, they're great oh, guys. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. But you know, Mr. Kimmer, as yeah. bad as I feel yeah. for you and Pete Davis yeah. And, yeah. and Flounder yeah. and, and, the, and the Hangman. <laughs> oh, I know. The Hangman's got more opportunities than all of us. <laughs> He's, He's covered his butt everybody, all right. Everybody, that's right, you know. <laughs> He knew what he was doing, ducking out at three and going to six eighty to moonlight. But anyway, <laughs> here's a pope that wants to tell everything. So, <laughs> the guy I feel worse for out of everybody is yeah. Shelley Winter. Shelley Winter, sure, yeah. Well, you know, once this job's over, he's going to have to start buying his own lunch again. <laughs> And Shelly's taking the hardest hit, so he's the only one of us that has any endorsements. In <laughs> always, well, you're always cheer just... everybody up and put a put a positive spin. Well, on we're all there. smiling here now. You're <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look out! Five thirty-seven lines are jammed. I'll get all your calls and more newsbreaker lines on the New Talk one hundred six seven. This is your president for all four seasons garage and entry doors with a special guest. You know, Donald, thanks to you, Hillary and I may never make it back to the White House. Thank goodness for that. So instead, we decided to fix up the old place. We started with a new garage door from all four seasons garage and entry doors. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the racket that old thing was making. Hillary? No, the garage door. Pay attention. Anyway, Dan Watson and his expert team 
are so professional, so efficient, so customer friendly, when it comes to the competition, it's not even close. And there's no cigar. Let me tell you something, Donald. Anyone out there who continues to struggle with an old, faulty garage door and doesn't call Dan Watkins at All Four Seasons Garage and Entry Doors? Yes, Bill. Well, I feel their pain. Check them out today at AllFourSeasonsGarages.com. From the Haviland Express Lube Traffic Center, still pretty rough on the top end, really down the east and west side perimeters as well. Traffic Board sponsored by rockauto.com. You'll be slow leaving Sandy Springs in 400 back down to either 20s. 75 northbound, really bunching up as you try to get back into Kennesaw. You had a pretty decent ride, but now it's turning kind of rough as you leave Marietta in the south 120 loop out past Chastain. Southbound traffic starting to bunch up as well due to that heavy traffic on the perimeter. And now 575 getting in on the act that you're going to stay slammed back out to around Town Lake Parkway. Rock Auto.com, the online auto parts store with everything from complex electrical parts for modern daily drivers to new brake shoes for old favorites. Order online 24-7. The parts are delivered directly to your home or office. Visit rockauto.com for reliably low prices every day. Right now, door-to-door traffic. I'm Matt Door on the new Talk 106.7. <laughs> Kimmer. Yeah, baby. You're not a slut. No, I... You're more like a penny. Two-faced, worthless, <laughs> and in everyone's pants. It's the Kimmer Show on the new talk, 1067. There we go. Stand by. News break lines. I'm going to try to get that sticky Big Fat Brick House song on, too. 542. Shine, Jesus, shine, the name of this song. That'll be kind of music. Uh, Christian pop they'll be playing when we all leave in uh, mid-May or thereabouts. Uh, for the new owners who have bought our radio station. Couldn't <laughs> There you go. <laughs> there we go. 542, almost 543. I'm sorry, let's call it that. All right, quick, quick, quick couple calls. Uh, G, on the three, Pete, Paratrooper Dan. Hey, Paratrooper Dan, how's it going, man? Hey, Kimmer. Uh, now you have to come out with a farewell tour CD, the best of Kimmer, and you've got to open with Kara's call. I've had tears on my eyes <laughs> when that woman called. Yeah, she's a sweet love, Kara. Honest to goodness, we just love her. I hope everything works out for all of them over there and the other shows, too, but we'll see. Anyway, thanks, man. Well, I appreciate it. I got a, I got a quick uh, question for Pete. Yeah. Pete, did you get, did you get Kimmer's uh, blow-up on uh, video so we could put that on the... Uh, <laughs> it was too <laughs> quick. It was too fast. It was a drive-by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said three bad words, and then it said, I'm going home and walked out. <laughs> <laughs> Left them all looking at me. <laughs> oh, geez. Who was got on uh, Dane on six? Pete has been holding a very long time. Dane, welcome. Thank you so much for your patience. How you doing? Hey, Cameron, thanks for taking the call, man. Yes, sir. It's, uh, what's up, man? So, so I, I saw the news last night on the Facebook, and then I was like, eh, not a big deal. It's not going to bother me that much. And then last night I had a dream that the newsmaker line was making fun of me. In my dream. Really? Wow, so, that's pretty specific. I, I called when, when Pete was at the horn the other day. I called in and talked to Pete for a minute about the about songs that were, you know, crazy and wouldn't be on the show. Yeah. And the newsmaker was making fun of, fun of, fun of the guy that was talking about Waylon Jennings. So it's, uh, it's a big deal. Yeah, so, it all comes full circle. You, well, thanks, Dan. You I, for the next 90. No, oh, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Right down, uh, Doug, right below him there, too, Pete, in that newspaper line. Hey, Doug, you're on the radio, man. How's it going? Hey, Timber, how are you, buddy? Very well, sir. Hey, look, I've listened, I've listened to you for a long time, but I, I'm just saying, you know, a lot of these folks call in, and, and, and they're almost like sad you're going somewhere. You're not going nowhere. You're too good to go anywhere. Well, uh, thanks, but that's okay. got no, good's got nothing to do with it. <laughs> well, I, mean, I mean, you got an audience. you got a following, my friend, and well, I think you know that. I, I would uh, hope that other and, stations... And also, yeah, go also ahead. Also, the other shows do, too, and I appreciate yes. you all very much, but I really, really, really called in if, just for a second. Is that nice gentleman that had the problem with the son? Yeah, yeah. On the Met, well, hey, I just, you know, I, I we can feel for you. I can feel for you. I've been there, mm. done that yeah. with my son, and and there's a lot of dads that go through that, so don't make it too hard. Yeah, it yourself. can. Good things can happen. Doug, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Five forty-five. But more calls. Hold on. How about another newsmaker line? Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Kim. This is Robert <laughs> De Niro calling. Oh, hey, Robert, how you doing? What's the matter with you? When I bought that, when you bought that car, what did I tell you? Don't buy anything big. <laughs> I, I, said, I don't care where you got the new Mustang. Take it back. I don't care if it's in your mother's name. It's a wedding gift. Take it back. I don't care where you got it. I told you, don't buy anything big. 
What did I tell you, Pete Davis? Don't move. Don't move now. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. He moved across the street. Yeah. <laughs> what were you thinking, you know? I mean, what's the matter with you guys? Didn't you see the writing on the wall that said, for a good time, stop by Hangman's house between three and... Well, no. He's the home That's a different... But stop by, you know... <laughs> I feel really bad. I do. Management said there's nothing we could do. We tried. You know? <laughs> we do We've got three open FM signals that we could put you on, but there's nothing we could do, nothing my ass. Do yeah, now. right. Uh, and the only thing those guys hate more than talk radio is the U.S. military and the American flag. Sort of like me. Anyway, what's the matter with you? What's the matter with us? How could you not know this was going to happen? Even, I mean, even up Molly Madeline heard about it. She, heard things. she did. She heard things, you know? She heard things. Yeah, Marley feel bad Marley. for you and your station. I wish, yeah. I wish there's something that I, Robert De Niro, could do. Like, oh my God! I heard this morning what? at the old, old talk, formerly talk, uh, used to be talk yeah. one hundred six seven. Yeah. Yeah. There were there were more long faces than Sarah Jessica Parker's family reunion. There were a lot of <laughs> long faces long over there. Faces, you know? you That's right. Yeah, Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> they're celebrating over at We Suck and Blither, you know. Oh, I they're mean, celebrating, uh, sure. Yeah. Oh, you know, the slogan is winning by default since 1985. <laughs> it's like Clear Channel taking the FM down and handing the audience. This is the best thing Sucking Blither has gotten since GST gave him Rush Limbaugh so they could put on Spanish sports. <laughs> by the way, by the way, how did that work out? It's not working out too good. <laughs> You know, there's a radio show that actually beat Rush Limbaugh a time in a major market in, in the ratings consistently with zero promotion. Did yeah. you know about that show? Yeah, I heard about it. What's Apparently it nobody knows about that show. From, yeah. That's you know, three to six. There's nothing nothing we can do, right. you know? <laughs> Kim, I can't believe that you and Pete let you yeah. take this thing take you by surprise. Yeah. It's hard for me to believe. Really? What do you mean? I mean, this was even a rare instance when Stormy Daniels saw it coming. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what does it have to do? Hit you between the eyes? <laughs> What's the matter with you? I told you to take the cop back. I don't care where you got it. I don't care how many horsepower it's got. Take it back. Take it back. <laughs> I should have known. 548. Uh, on four, Pete Dan has been hanging a long time. We got another newspaper line standing by in a song. Hey, Dan, you're on the radio. What's up, sir? Thank you, Mr. Peterson. Do you remember when? Uh, do you remember the the Olympics, sir? Yeah. Yes. Uh, me and my buddy Don were working the venue at the AT and T Global Olympic Village, uh-huh. and uh, I still drive a big truck in town. And we always listen at the time. We listen to you every afternoon. Do you remember us? Uh, I, I swear to God, you had a you had a booth there. GST had you broadcasting from. Where'd you yes, I re- in, in fact, I think we made fun of Clark Howard was going by uh, <laughs> one point of that, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I re- yeah, absolutely. I got it. Was what ninety six, ninety eight, ninety six, ninety six. That's right. Wow. That's right. My, <laughs> me and my buddy Don were doing a documentary for AT and T, and they were hosting the you know the, the athletes at the big venue. Yeah, and we had we had just so the listeners know. Mr. Peterson's a very gracious and friendly man. And, well, uh, and I, I re- rediscovered that you were on the air uh, and been listening for about eight months or so. And I and I buzzed my buddy Don, who has moved to another market. He's working another market. He was so excited. So huh. I, I hope he's listening. Well, good. And in my right hand, I've got my Y2 Kemmer CD. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, from 2000 was it? Holy cow! That, that's right. In, in preparation for the for the disaster. Y2K. Yeah. Oh man. And, uh, and it, it's been in the cab of the grip truck this whole time. Ever, um, ever since. Ever uh, since those days. Uh, you know, it's sad news. Yeah. But you're gonna land. You're gonna land on the floor somewhere. Well. And, and <laughs> you know, podcast or whatever. It's it's good. It's good. And and like you say, radio. Yeah. You know, it's, radio. It's different. It's different. Yeah, it is. It is. But yeah. thanks for everything. Thanks, Dan. And, thanks. Uh, and I, ho- I hope Don heard it because thank you, Mister Harvey. At the at the end of every uh, at the end of every uh, rest oh, of the story. There you go. Rest of the story. Uh, Five fifty on the New Talk one hundred six seven. Uh, hold on quickly to uh, t- Ken up top there, Pete, on the New Talk with the camera. Hey, Ken, you on the radio? Hello. Hi. Welcome. Hey, how you doing? It's Kenny. Hey, Kenny. What's up, man? Hey, I just want to hey. let you know. Yeah. I have many Italian friends. Okay. All right. We like that. And okay. Thank you so much. Roger. Hey, no, he's got Italian friends, baby. Just an FYI. Did I did I something bad about it? Did I say no, anything? No. I didn't do I it. I think he's meaning that he knows some people that oh, can I help us out. Oh, I got a few people out. who can, uh, yeah. Thank you, Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Hey, y'all are y'all are going somewhere, but it, are they going to have the your studio? Uh, it's all. We don't even need a studio. They're just going to push a button. They're not going to even have any people here, as far as I know. Maybe somebody to run the run the transmitter, but it'll basically be a a feed system from wherever their headquarters is. I guess I really don't know if they're even going to be here at all. I don't know. Well, I have a prediction. With right? all that money they're making, yeah. there's a lot of antennas up here in Gainesville, Georgia. Yeah. Do you guys, I have a feeling that they're putting you somewhere. I don't know where, but y'all are not going anywhere. Well, but... going up. <laughs> y'all are going to make it. <laughs> y'all are going to be fine. Don't worry. Uh, Thanks, DJ. 551. How about a newsbreaker line there? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Kimber. This is Judge <laughs> Smith. <Smells. laughs> Judge, how's it going? <laughs> Judge. Uh, I just wanted to yes. call and yes, say sir. I feel bad for you, Kimmer. Yeah, I feel bad, sir, to you. Yeah. I'd feel worse if you hadn't left me and Hangman out of your future plans a couple of times. <laughs> it was a misunderstanding. I was I like that you left us out even after you were given another chance to correct it. You know, <laughs> Kimmer, are you sure you're not forgetting somebody? <laughs> now oh, I yeah. think it's me, Pete, Flounder, and Spalding. Uh, yeah, that's the plan, man. Uh, that's all we need for this show. I'm Marty The <laughs> newspaker line is number one. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> That's a bunch of number two. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but as hurt as I feel and yeah. neglected and peed on, I've still written a poem. A poem. Yay! Judge Smales. Make Smale. the whole staff feel better, oh, I hope. We're okay. honored, sir. Judge Smale is right there. It's easy to pod when you've been thrown out. <laughs> but the new talk, there is no joy. Mm-hmm. But why lose sleep over liberal creeps who gave us boo-boo and that thief, Steve McCoy? <laughs> Yeah, whoever thought that hiring Michael Graham and the worst program director in America as your new talk, as your talk radio division uh, president would be bad for you. Congratulations to your intern, Christian, for buying the radio station. I didn't know she had that kind of money. Christian radio station, maybe. Wow. I don't think it's the same Christian, sir. <laughs> Pretty sure. Now today, of course, yes. lest we forget is Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Across America. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Virginia to Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax has a Valentine's Day surprise for oh. his new love interest. Oh, the Lieutenant Governor of Virginia has a surprise for him? Unfortunately, it involves a ski mask and duct tape. She doesn't <laughs> know that <yet>. Some surprise. <laughs> yeah, surprise. <laughs> Oh, man, just weeks away from not having Mr. Helper. It's going to be such a relief, you know. <laughs> worry about interrupting all the time. And <laughs> jumping on your lines. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding around. Yes. Callous disregard for all the people who will lose their livelihood over this decision. But uh, enough about the news department you got rid of a few weeks and months ago. It's the kind of insensitivity normally reserved for the Cherokee Christian Academy in the oh, opinion that's of Judge Smith. The place where they wouldn't let my producer's kid and go to kindergarten because they thought I was such a degenerate. Don't they have a theme song over there, uh, Cherokee Christian Academy? Jesus loves all of the talk hosts except that one and those two over there. There's no hope for you and me when Jesus wants your frequency. <laughs> And they sold it to him to get rid of us. <laughs> yeah, we'd like to keep you and put you on one of our open frequencies that's doing nothing, but we'd rather lose $2 million in profits than push a conservative agenda because, hey, it's not like it's our money or anything. <laughs> Thanks, Judge. 555, almost out of time. Uh, quick, let's, uh, Pete, let's get uh, line two is Lou, been holding a long time. Lou, thanks for holding, man. You're on the radio. How's it going? How's it coming back, Kimmer? Yes, really, sir. Luke, I'm glad to speak with you. I love you so much. I don't know if we're going to lose Pete on Atlanta baseball or Atlanta's baseball tonight, so that would yeah. stink. Yeah. Uh, I can only imagine also that we're going to be losing, uh, you know, uh, Mark Levin at night and then Ben Shapiro in the morning. So yeah, they're all gone. Over the next, uh, do you guys have an opportunity, just like I was asking the other day, who's the next Trump, do you guys have an opportunity to share – 
great venues or great uh, media places or great radio stations that you can turn us on to if we don't have you to listen to. Well, we're we're trying our best to come up with something, but honestly, we don't know what to do or where to go, and uh, we'll keep you posted. 5.56, let's do our contest here. 4K a day on the new Talk 106.7. I'll uh, text the national keyword CHECK right now to 95819. CHECK, C-H-E-C-K, to 95819. We'll text you back to confirm your entry. Data messaging rates may apply, and of course, don't text and drive. 4K a day from the former talk, uh, 1067. Well, by golly, I, we're almost out of time, aren't we? I was going to play the song. I, I tell you, we're going we're we're to do a news make line. So, I, I, you know, from now on, we're just going to play everything. From now until the end, we're just going to do it all. Just the best we'll do it every day. We'll, yeah, every day. <laughs> it's going to be great. Uh, and I, I, I tell you what, let's get Tony's got like 20 se- or 10 seconds. Hey, Tony, like in 10 seconds, welcome aboard. Hey, thank you. We're going to miss you so much. I'm uh, going to miss all of you so much. But I think. I think the powers to be in Atlanta have been influenced by your programs to not elect Stacey Abrams. So you got to go. I got to go. You're killing me. Herp. It's only me. It's only the Kimmer. Hey, how's your heart? And those pesky arteries are keeping.